two. Happy Monday, everybody. Ah. Excuse me. Couldn't get that out before the show. <laughs> August 15th. Another beautiful summer day. It's hot. I'll tell you what. Uh, Hello Fresh, thank you for sponsoring us. We love you. Welcome back, AB. Thank you, thank you. Glad to be back. Your pre your presence was was missed last week, as well as Lena's. Welcome back, Lena, too. Thank you. It's good to be back. You guys went to uh, Detroit. Yeah. How was it? It was fun. It was uh, interesting. I feel like I need to get charged up at least once or twice a year, and then I'm so grateful to be out here in L.A., so... It was nice. Did you see, meet a lot of tater tots out there? Yeah, I found out a lot of my friends are tater tots. That's so yeah. crazy. Mm -hmm. Did your girl cause some shit and dipped? Did you? Uh, I saw you message. You said something about your dad having a new family. That was pretty interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, it's very interesting. I met my dad's girlfriend's kids, family. and it was super <laughs> fucking weird. Can you pull that post up? Yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah. So what happened? Your dad, your parents were recently divorced? Yeah, they got divorced a couple years ago. But all you kids are grown up, right? Uh, yeah. So was it painful for your parents to get divorced? At yeah, definitely. I feel worse for my siblings, but... Uh, are you the oldest? I am the oldest. Oh, you are? You took out... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I no. have it. Why'd you change it? <laughs> it's still on Twitter. Here, I'll send it. Oh, okay. Wait, Instagram. why did you change it? Were you feeling bad? I... Uh, my dad is a uh, important person in our hometown, and did I did he see it? No, he didn't see it, but I do have a lot of people who, uh, a lot of people in the community on my Daddy. Instagram. He wrote, he wrote, <laughs> my dad got a new puppy to match his new family. Oh, where's your dad? I was like, whoa, that's kind of juicy. By the way, that dog is so freaking cute. Yeah, really cute dog. Is that a Labradoodle or a? I, what is that? I don't recall. Lena, do you know where can I get one? Yeah, no, I don't know what breed it was, but they, their other dog was like this really enormous dog, so they got rid of that one and got this tiny one. What do you mean got rid of that one? Well, no, they, they explained. They gave it away to they a... They killed um, it. <laughs> I'm killing. I'm kidding. So they found another family who has another dog that size, the same breed, um, and okay. they thought, yeah, he would be better off with that family Yeah, this instead. is, to, to clarify, this is the second new dog that my dad's new family has. Uh, the first one, my dad made sure had a new home. I did not fuck my dog. All right, I, I that's okay. I, I that's good for the best welfare of the dog. But if some if this dog goes by, if he gives this dog away too, then we gotta we gotta put the kibosh for the new dog. <laughs> Actually, I'll take this dog, dog if he uh, is looking for an owner someday. What a cute dog! Your brother looks just like you too. That shit's funny as hell, dude. Yeah, you know what he looks like he looks <clears> like <throat> AB crossed with the the dude from Game of Thrones. Um, huh. Rob Stark. Interesting. I see it. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> I see it. Yeah. So, so wait, you're the oldest. How old are your siblings? Um, my brother is five years younger than me. My sister is four years younger. So. Wow, dude. I didn't know you were like the patriarchy of your family almost. I wish. Yeah, not even just my immediate family. My extended family, too. Really? Always putting the pressure on me that I have to carry on the Ayad name. Are you... <laughs> Are you living up to that at the moment? Yeah, now I am. Okay. My dad says he's always been proud of me. I'm like, bullshit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, he's always been yeah. proud of you. Yeah, I had the same thing with my parents. We've always been proud of you. No, you weren't. But it's fine. Yeah. Okay, good. So you're carrying on the AAD legacy. That means you guys have to have kids pretty soon. My but, family's not asking. Lena's family is asking all the time. Yeah, literally every time. Every time. And I'm like, dude, we want a dog, and we're not even sure how we'd have a dog here just because, you know, we don't have family out here. You know, it's just you guys. You can bring a dog I know, you here. said we could bring it to the we office. We can babysit your dog, too, if you want. It, Maybe. Yeah. No, I, we love the dogs. I yeah. love, our dogs love dogs. We love dogs. Theodore loves dogs. C-A-B, everybody loves dogs. Yeah. Lena's so, never had a dog. She has another responsibility that comes so with So wait, it. Lena wants the dog, and oh, you're so you. kiboshing? I want it, but it's just a lot. I mean, and we have a studio apartment. Like, you better try no some. privacy. I have the exact same dynamic with Allie. Listen. Mm. She really wants a dog, and I'm like, me too, but... Yeah. You just got you just got to go for it. I vote dogs for everyone. Thing is, I have, we had that same hesitancy with Shredder. You just got to go for it. Mm -hmm. Thing is, you guys are good, planning to have kids. You better f just go with a dog first. Yeah. I think it's a good test. Kids are run. way fucking crazier than dogs. 
people saying get a cat. Uh, both AB and Lena are like deathly allergic to cats. Yep. Yes. Yes. It's horrible. Cats are not. I don't. Yeah. Just got, I, I, I don't like to say it, but you guys know what I'm gonna say. Also, cats give you like brain diseases. Oh. Uh. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude. What's the shit that they they get? There's parasites in your brain from cats, literally. Yeah. What's it called? I don't remember. Toxoplasm or some shit. The parasites are blocking my yeah, ability to toxo, recall the name of it. Yeah, they make plasmosis. Plasmosis, bro. This shit gets in the brains of mice, and what happens is. They let cats eat them, dude. They just go up to cats and let them eat them. You got you have parasites in your brain, dude, from cats. Anyway, they're nice though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never had a cat, so you know what? I'm That's sorry right. for the cat slander. I just am a dog person. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Also, the thing I don't like cat about cats is they they hurt you. They claw you like all the time. Dog, my dog doesn't hurt me. Yeah, cats are kind of they fuck, assholes. They got in crazy my ass claws and they're claw you. But I love them. Whatever, but it, you know what? Hurt we me. love the cats. cats. Love me. Yeah. I think you guys should get dogs. I think both you guys should get dogs. Bring them to the office. We have a dog-friendly office. Yeah, maybe. I kinda, oh my god! I bring my dogs all the time. <clears throat> yeah. Ian just yesterday got in my ear about oh this mic is not working. Uh, about getting a pet chinchilla. Can I bring a pet chinchilla to the office? Is that, Cam, you're is that getting allowed? more and more foliage. I almost can't even see your I'm, ass. I'm gonna show up and you just need a suit. full bush in front of you. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> you got. We need you to eventually look like the Homer Simpson meme, where his head is coming out of the bush. Yes. Yeah, right. Slowly. <laughs> oh, I would love that. Can I get a bush outfit? That'd be great. Hmm. We have a ghillie suit here, actually. Oh, I'm, where is it? I'm gonna go put it on. Right uh, now. It's it's in one of the <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, bags. It, it, it. I should warn you. It's covered in rats and shit. Uh, it's the old okay. Habsburg, Habsburg uh, suit, right? Uh, what? The giant shit. It's called a Habsburg. You know, I think that's no. not my size. I think it might be Yeah, that's what it's called. It's the one we made for that uh, <laughs> runway show. I think you're talking about. All right, everybody. Yeah, Batberg. Batberg. Oh, Batberg. It is not. It is not an Austrian uh, aristocrat. <laughs> no. Habsburg. Let's get back on track but here. Can I, can I bring a pet chinchilla? That's all I want to know. Is I don't know. Are they? Is it going to kill my great. dogs? Okay, no, then no, yes. No. Okay. What's a chinchilla? Look oh, up. dude. I didn't hold on until Ian. Ian turned me on to chinchillas yesterday. Let me show you the best thing Is this one of these ever. like things where like a park ranger wouldn't be happy if they no. knew you had it? I don't know. Look at this. No, they're fine. Watch, you give really? them, you give them the they're special dust. Oh, look and at that like, thing. Woo, look. I think they have so much fun. I want a little dusty boy. I think Alfredo would try to kill. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, maybe. I'll keep him in a little backpack on my back, <laughs> filled, filled with dust. I think my dogs will try to kill that cute little thing. Uh, they have, they have like some. Shri Alfredo has crazy like prey drive against little critters. They, they are rodents, so yeah. he's cute though. They're very cute. Alfreco. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Alfreco mode. Okay. <clears throat> so anyway, back to AB's dad having a new family because that's interesting. So your parents got divorced a couple. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> your parents got divorced a couple years ago. Yeah. And that's been hard. Are any of your younger siblings living with, were living with them at the time? Uh, yeah, my sister was. Mm, uh, so that was probably difficult. Aren't yeah, you? and she's back and forth right now with them, depending on who she's arguing with. Mm -hmm. But yeah. No, it's weird. It's weird. Like, Lena's family is all very supportive and loving and just positivity. And it's like me and my family and friends. It's just like every time I see them, it's like another, like, crazy situation. Yeah. I had one friend who I accidentally got in trouble in a way, and he had to sleep out at our house for three days during the vacation. What'd you, what happened? His girlfriend has always been kind of uh, mean to him, is a nice way of putting oh. it. She doesn't like when he goes out with his friends or anything. Controlling. Yeah, very. And we were in the car together, and uh, he called her and didn't realize that the call was going to go through the Bluetooth in the, in the car. And uh, she literally just answered and was like, what the fuck do you want? like screaming super loud and then like he got embarrassed kind of just looked at me and I was like I don't know what the fuck came over me but I said uh hi yeah we like to place a carry out you, you, you said oh carry out yeah I didn't I just was trying I don't know I didn't know what to say it was just so awkward so I was you're, kind of, you're trying to say I'm here in the car basically yeah but I was yeah. just trying to be funny okay. about it and then uh that led to a whole debacle and he got to leave the house and sleep on our couch. he got kicked out of his house for that it it escalated from there. <clears throat> wow. Good times though. Good stuff. So wait, why did your parents get divorced? <laughs> <laughs> they got divorced because uh they got married really young. 
And uh, I don't know, they were still kids when they got together. Yeah, but what happened? They were together since they were 14. I happened. Me and Lena found out on my last trip that I'm a bastard. How are you a bastard? You have a dad. I mean, they were, I was conceived before At they were At a wedlock? Married. Yeah. Okay, okay. They still did not. You're a, you're a bastard like uh, Game of Thrones bastard. Yeah, I'm like a Jon Snow, like cool bastard. But your dad didn't disown you. No, I he didn't disown me. Yeah, yeah. He threatened me a few not times. Yet, but not, no, yet. not Not yet. <laughs> so your dad, was he having an affair or something with this woman? Because he moved on really fast. I, the details are spotty. Okay. I, I kind of think he was, but I don't know for sure. It's unknown. Yeah, yeah, the timeline doesn't add up. So, wow, that's crazy. So he moved on. Mm -hmm. With a new woman, mm -hmm. did they they got a house together? Beautiful house. Wow, yeah. you probably never grew up in a house that nice, huh? I know. We had a one bedroom apartment when I was really young. I mean, yeah. when I was older, by the time I was in high school, we had a nice house. But wow. And, yeah, it's and, it's and weird. So is his wife super, way younger? She's close in age to me. Wow, <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah. It, By the way, are you, people are saying stop. Are you uncomfortable with? No, 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 okay, no, yeah. no, not at all. No, I meme about yeah, it all the AB, time. Ab would tell me to stop if he was uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. So you guys shut the fuck up. Yeah. And let me do my show. <laughs> you know, you know, you're interested in this just as much as I am. <laughs> so wow, and 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 let. And so, did they have kids together yet, or is she pregnant, or what's going on? There? She has two kids. Oh, she has two kids from a previous yeah. thing. Okay. And what's weird is the younger one I was kind of looking at him, and I told him, I was like, you think that little bastard's my brother? Because he kind of looked like me a little How bit. How old is he? He's young. He's like... Yo, he, you might have, you have a half-brother over there. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we gotta get, you got to steal some hair and, <laughs> and fucking crunch the numbers on that. Yeah. Shit's weird. My parents were so strict growing up, and like... We were like had like a we had to represent ourselves in a certain way in the community, mm -hmm. and we were always being watched. We couldn't do anything, and uh, it's just weird now that they're like went the opposite way completely. And is your dad's new wife halal? Uh, she's white. She's just white. Yeah. Is she religious? No. Okay. My dad's not very religious either. Okay. Right. Interesting. Mm. Huh. And and let, can I may I ask you a question? Uh, 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 I don't know how to ask this in a way. Ask, ask. Uh -oh. I don't care. No, I'm not. It's not. I'm I, worried I about the I, optics right now. Uh oh. I'm not I worried. Shouldn't say it. I'm going to say something I don't. I shouldn't <laughs> Joe Biden. I shouldn't. Moment. Maybe there's just. The, it's not a good Type question. It. To ask. Put it. Put it in Discord. You can ask it. You're saying that I'm now, an open maybe. book. Is she like a? Tr is are you? Do you get trophy wife vibes from her? Um. Well, my mom is very, and I'm not just saying this because she's my mom. Like she's very pretty. Like my. My mom and dad are both very good looking. Um, kind of contributes to them being the way they are in a way. But no, I don't think, because my mom, if you could argue that my mom looked like a trophy wife. Um, Your mom is a beautiful woman. Yes. Okay, here it is. I asked in chat, is she hot? Lena, thank you, said oh, yes, she is. Goodness. So, Lena, thank the, the new, that, that's, that's less. It's, oh, that's trouble. the truth, yeah. Thank you, Lena. Yeah. No problem. But my, but my mom's hot too. That's the thing. Yeah, but not. She ain't. She ain't twenty. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't kill me. I'd never do that. It's mommy makeout. Well, how old's your mom? I think what it is. I your think mom, what, is your mom still a hot ticket? Oh yeah, she's. My mom's Ooh. very pretty. Like Ooh. my whole life, my picture? friends, even my own cousins would tease me about my mom being hot. <laughs> By the way, I had the same fucking thing growing up, bro. Yeah. All my friends wanted to were saying all nasty shit about my mom my whole life. Yeah. Fucking. It didn't really bother me. It's just nasty. Yeah, it bothered me when I was younger, but then when I was older, I was like, I don't know why I let it piss me off so much when I was a kid. <clears throat> when I was younger, pe pe dudes used to come hit on my mom all the time in front of me. <laughs> it was very young. It's just, yeah. And then it's always like the first thing friends say to me when they come to my house, dude, your mom's hot. Yeah. It's like, so don't, fu I don't, I don't care. You don't need to tell me that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think w with my dad and the, his new, uh, his new fling, his new uh, girlfriend is that Wait, my mom? His girlfriend. His girlfriend, yeah. Okay, okay. But they live together, have pets together. I don't know. It's weird. But my mom was very strong-willed. Like my mom grew up. My mom's very tough. Like my mom and like my dad could get irritated working or whatever it is and mm -hmm. make little comments. I know like every dad, but my mom will not let that shit slide. Mm -hmm. Like so, I don't know. I feel like he just likes uh, the peace of mind of everything. So. 
So you're saying this this girl doesn't talk back to him? Yeah, she's more she's, she's a, more passive. Wow, yeah. interesting. And is your mom dating? She is. Yeah, she is. She had to give my dad back. She's dating a Jewish guy. Oh, take that. <laughs> He's really nice, though. Jewish guy, huh? Mm -hmm. What's he do for a living? He's a very successful commercial real estate Let's broker. Yeah. The Jews. So good for your mom, ultimately. She's getting some good Jewish dick. Okay, okay. She's getting... <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. He's got, crossed he's, the line. He sounds rich, too, right? He's rich? Uh, yeah, he is. Fuck yeah. It sounds like, it sounds like they're both doing well, at least. You know? Yeah. I'm more worried about, like, it impacting my siblings, but... Yeah. But they seem to be having a good time. Wow, that's a lot to deal with. I didn't realize that you're home life was so tumultuous in fact you've learned here two weeks or two years when you moved here all this shit was going down back home huh yeah wow yeah i want to see a picture of your mom dude i can send you one <laughs> i don't know though after that last comment i'm know. just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding you don't have to send me <laughs> no, a picture no, i'm just come on these people are everyone's judging me uh <laughs> olivia <laughs> Olivia has a fun idea. She says, oh, I got a picture of... Oh, my God. A.B. just <laughs> sent me a picture of his mom. All right, let me open this. This compilation of him. This is her birthday. <laughs> um, Olivia said, you guys bring pictures of your parents, and I have to guess whose parents they are. Dude, that's so such a fun idea. Mine... Uh, you don't my, want to show you. No, it's just that I, I look exactly... Like my dad in particular. Oh, like really? you would well, think, you would look at it for like half a second. And be like, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's dead. We could give like both parents and then you have to mix and match mm. like i think it's this one plus this one equals dan mm. i love that idea so i'm looking at a picture of ab's mom very beautiful she looks a lot like you too in mm. the face yeah happy birthday mom slay queen slay the top comment is what your mom is white <laughs> thanks yep guys. That was okay. All right. Thank you uh, for opening your heart to us, AB. Mm -hmm. We all are going through things, and uh, wow. Well, there you have it. There you go. We learned. Anyone else, parents, going through some shit you want to talk about on air? <laughs> My grandma has dementia. Want to talk about that? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's a little sad. That's I'm too kidding. sad right now. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> But sending love to you and your family. Obviously. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, sending love. You know, sometimes I, w I watch, you know, I I'm watch The Real Housewives. I'm a sucker for that dumb fucking show. By the way, thank you, Bella Simmons, for 50 gifted subs. Oh, hey. Thank you for the gifted. Thank you for the gifted. Bella, thank you for the gifted. And I, could, I see a lot of divorces. Almost, it's kind of insane. Did Every relationship on that show, except maybe one or two of the dozens, they get divorced. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if it's the show. I'm sure the show doesn't help. But I also think that a lot of these relationships are rocky to begin with because it's a lot of, like, trophy wife stuff. But after they get divorced, I have to say, a lot of them seem to find themselves happier. I, you know, uh, so it's kind of interesting. They all end up with new significant others, and it's kind of interesting to see. You know, it's a, it gives a little hope out there for, for them. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Good luck. Thanks. Let's get to the fucking war now. But welcome back. You guys were, were missed for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Richie, your dad or the Jewish guy? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Can't tell you. Probably the Jewish guy. Ooh. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Do you know how she met him? Was it a dating website or like real life? <laughs> I I don't know how she met. To be honest, did she did she join Jewish date Jewish the men Jews. or some shit? Jewish date? You guys like swapping Arab for a Jew date? Day. <laughs> that was a real thing spot. at one point, wasn't it? Jew date? It's, yeah, J date. It's still a thing. It yeah. It's still a thing. Okay. Yeah. My brother was on that shit yeah, for a yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah. He's married now, obviously, but J date Jewish dating. <laughs> There's probably halal date too. I mean, right. There's got to be. Oh, yeah. There's uh, MuslimFinder.com. There's like, <laughs> MuslimFinder. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Dude, that could go sideways, a website like that.
Muslim finder. Let's find him. Yeah, it went last time. It's actually run by the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. When I brought my camera around my hometown, everyone thought I was with immigration. They kept asking me <laughs> this past week. All right, let's move on. Thank you, A.V. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, guys, the title, we find ourselves in yet another war. I'm trying my best to be a changed man. I mean, I'm trying so hard to leave the beef in the past and to, and to overcome. But people keep stepping to me. They keep fucking with me. And some aggressions cannot stand. Okay? There's a line in the sand you do not cross. Sound the motherfucking war horn. Now, why do you make me keep doing this? Shout out Peanuts, by the way, uh, this Thursday, TeddyFresh.com. Now, why do you make me keep doing this, man? Jid, you know this guy, Jidian? Let me pull this shit up. Why am I still getting hate? Yo, you gotta see this shit. Did you guys save the thumbnail? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you got it. This mother... This dude here... Wait, where's the picture of the thumbnail? This dude... So, if you guys may not... Uh, here, let me show you a picture. He's a Twitch streamer. I really don't have a problem with him. Yeah. Okay, good. I don't really have a problem with him. We talked about him a couple of times. One of them, he went to like the quote unquote most racist town in the USA and basically was like, yo, check out these white supremacists. They're not that bad. Yo, these KKK guys are super nice. And anyway, we just, we, crit we lightly criticized him for that. And then we watched one of his old videos. You guys remember it was when he went shirtless to Best Buy and started like fucking with um, an employee there. And we called him a douche. But look at this thumbnail, bro. Um, he called it Gideon reacts to H3 showing liberal racism on his podcast. That's so I was like, okay, if you want to say that I'm like a liberal racist, I, I'm, I'm willing to hear you out because obviously i don't want to be that but he he doesn't he doesn't really say anything about it uh but look at this thumbnail he shows me saying look at him acting like an orangutan what the fuck bro is that some crazy shit to put on the internet just pulling that out of thin air that shit's too wild isn't it now, I'm not easily offended, to be honest, and people say a lot of shit about me. Um, so, at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm used to it, and it, for the most part, it doesn't really bother me. But this thumbnail actually did bother me. Because when I saw that, I was like, what, did I say something like that? Because that's kind of an insane thing, just to, I mean, it's like straight defamation, bro. Look at him, act like an orangutan. With a text bubble coming out of my mouth. I was like, hell nah, dude. Um, let's watch the video a little bit. That pissed me off, though, dude. You want to pull it up yourself so you can yeah. be pausing? Yeah. yeah. Actually, he unlisted it. I don't know why. He, he unlisted it recently. We saw that he had a uh, strike on his, totally unrelated to this, um, uh, given to his account. Um, and so he might just be unlisting things to avoid uh, controversy and avoid trying to get another strike. Yeah, he just got a second community guideline strike. Yeah, and his TikTok, too, he said is, is down. Oh, he lost his TikTok, too? Gee, I can't imagine why. That might have just been that he had a video taken down from TikTok, though. Not yeah, right. it's just all uh, happening right now. I just can't imagine why this guy keeps getting in trouble. He's so responsible. He just always is very thoughtful before he says stuff. But okay, I'm gonna be del I'm gonna try to be delicate because this is the new me, right? So here he is reacting. It all kind of takes place in the last part. He's reacting to us. He's reacting to us. Reacting. <laughs> very meta. Yeah. Yes. Um, but what is part of, what is he reacting to? 
Oh, it's not even new? No, it's He's not. Reacting not He's reacting to us. He's reacting to us. Oh, my man. Bro, my man's um, in his town, bro. Video. Shout out to the homie. Shout out to the homie, man. Let me find out you part of the PRD Nation, bro. Bro, leave, leave with something like this, bro. Ethan, you inspired me. Hi. He came up to me, he's like, hey, man, you got to put on a show real quick. I would have been like, yeah, it's cool. My bro came up to me like, oh, oh. Yeah, you, you guys remember this? By the way, his shirt says professional rock dogger. It's like, I mean, you can accept some criticism that you're a little immature, dude. You know what I mean? It wasn't that mean what I said. Oh. Hey, what's up with your boy, Andrew? <laughs> My bro was trying to hit the wall on me, like, kind of felt violated. Andrew, yesterday, you discriminated me. You did not let me take off my shirt, boys! He's loving it. Look, he's laughing at his own video. Still love it. It's still a good one, boys. Uncircumcised! This is... This is an iconic moment in the Jadeon lore. This is an iconic... I feel like, bro, this is something Ethan would have done pre-2018 pre-podcast ethan literally would have done something like this this is one of my favorite things people detractors say about me i didn't but i did it you know it's so easy to people love to be like you would have hated yourself today or this is something you would have done but i didn't do it i feel like you would have made an h3 video making fun of this video yes yeah. <laughs> the people they there there's no line that people People can just create this old mythical me that somehow condones everything and, 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 and it, it's fucking insane. I never did shit like this. I never did. I feel like they're referring to things like, like the Vape Nation video or, or like the thousand shirts going into a store, yeah. like those kind of yeah. videos that you used to make. But I, I don't recall you ever like getting in the face <laughs> of employees of the place yeah, that was, you went to. Yeah, it was. That, that's, always that's the difference. Victimless video. Right. It was right. always fact, about yourself. Make in it fact, yourself. That's exactly what was great about those videos is that I was the fucking butt of the joke. Mm -hmm. Nobody else was. To be fair to Gideon, he says at the end of this clip that the guy Andrew, who he was like targeting in Best Buy, he ended up being cool with him and like bought him a camera and stuff. Cool. But that is just in in defense. Yeah. No, I'm, I, I think that matters to an extent. I think it does, yeah. That he, you know, didn't... It was afterward, but... Sure. Off camera. I mean, well, regardless. Yeah, like, those videos I used to do were always me as the butt of the joke. And by the way, like, Vape Nation, I always got permission to film in people's stores. Like, when we would go and... Well, the grocery store one, not. But I was just wearing a bunch of shirts. What's wrong with that? Yeah. <laughs> right, there wasn't really, like... And but like the, the Vape Nation one in the vape store, you know, we, we got his permission to do it. It was all very nice and amicable. Yeah, and definitely, I feel like every time you rewatch those videos, you always say like how uncomfortable you were and how much you hated doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. You weren't looking back like, fuck yeah. Well, that's one of the reasons I stopped doing those. But anyway, this whole fucking notion of like, you would have done this video. It's like, I didn't, you know, you can say I would have fucking gone on the corner and jerked off like Coney Coney, but it never happened yet. <laughs> Give it time. Maybe I will. Piece of shit like this could come for me. <laughs> Coney Coney 2024, baby. We coming back. I don't, I don't care what anybody would say. Pre Ethan would have done something like this, bro. Ethan, you inspired me. You want to know why I act the way I act? It's because of you, Ethan. It's because of you because of Idubs, because of Joji. Yeah, and all three of those guys you just named? Well, Filthy Frank would have done some shit like that, probably. Although, you guys would be surprised by how respectful he was, too, behind the scenes. Everything was pretty consensual and set up there. But, like, we never did this, so I don't know what you're talking about, dude. It's because of y'all. You guys were my childhood. You. Then, t then I seem uh, uniquely positioned to tell you, don't do that. Then it seems like I have a pretty strong authority, maybe one of the only people that you should fucking listen to when I say don't do that, right? Shout out to Brad Dude 29 who's spamming, Andrew Tate is a sex trafficker. <laughs> okay. Love that. Gifted. Side note. Love that. Shout out Brad Dude 29 Gifted. Gifted. <laughs> yeah, so listen to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I have some respect for your goddamn forebears. Yes, you, Ethan. You, you over here looking at me like this, you created this. Okay, no. Prank, I mean, he's more inspired by like pranksters than me. I'm not doing any shit like this. Nice try. This is like Nelk Boy vibes. I, like, when did I ever do anything like this? You could argue you made a career out of calling this out. Yeah. Like, this, <laughs> yeah. This is like <laughs> fucking like shit tier 2005 YouTube prank stuff, dude. Mm. Come on, man. Nice try. Jidian reacts to H3H3 showing liberal racism on his podcast. Okay, I can't wait to get to that. Is he standing on a bunch of expensive Andrew, STVs? We are Sir. Can you please join us? Why not? It's simple. It's simple. Free the nipple. Free the nipple. Free the nipple. Free the nipple. It's simple. Free the nipple. So, it's simple. Uh, uh, I guess I'll just go to a timestamp. Here he says again. <laughs> Oh, that's exactly bro, where it was. Bro, look, chat. You can see the old Ethan. You can see the old Ethan. Like, oh man, I like this dude. You can see it, man. You can see Ethan. Come on, man. Come on, Ethan, bro. You know you like it, Ethan, man. You know you like it, bro. Come on. Come on, Ethan, man. You can smile for once. I know you have a whole new demographic now. If you were to laugh at this, you would get canceled on Twitter. But Ethan, it's okay, man. It's okay, bro. Look, look, you can see the the happiness, the proudness in his eyes. He's like, I created this. <laughs> I walk so you can run. <laughs> I walk so you can run. You're just doing shitty pranks. Yo, listen, I can concede when something's funny. This was not. And I like how he thinks like I'm the only sour asshole about this. I found this video because I had like fifty thousand points on I'm an asshole subreddit. Yeah. No, it was Our public friend. freak out, I believe. Oh. One of those. I think but it was on I'm an this, asshole. This, maybe it was cross posted there too. I don't know. I mean, you said at the time, and I think it's true, it's like whether or not it's funny to have a bunch of people show up at a Best Buy and start chanting like that is one thing. The the main thing you took issue with is you, him targeting that employee. Dude, that was so. It's like that—that's yeah. where it like just becomes kind of douchey. Yeah, and like chasing him and fucking showing his face, and I don't know. The whole thing was pretty tasteless and lame. You know, if you want to do a prank on Best Buy, I frankly don't even have a problem with that. I mean, right? I'm not a prankster though. I've never been a prankster. But go it's a off, prank, bro. Yeah, according according to all these people that hate me now, 2016 Ethan was a prankster. Mm -hmm. A racist, a right. white nationalist, mm -hmm. yeah. a god, the funniest man alive, yeah, <laughs> uh, anti-social justice warrior, pro Alex Jones. Um, People in chat are saying Dark Ethan. Dark Ethan, <laughs> let's go, Dark Ethan. <laughs> Yeah, bro, you can just con. But I like that people don't allow me to speak for myself. You know, they I, I hear that all the time. They go. Ethan would have uh, hate. This is something Ethan would have criticized. Ethan would have criticized himself today. Bro, let me in this unique position as Ethan to say I never did and I wouldn't. And here I am. I'm telling you. You know, I'm the guy you're talking about. It's just weird. We've all been getting ready for Hot Boy Summer. I don't know. Seems kind of fucked up to target that guy. Yeah. It's some Who's guy just trying to be a pretty light criticism, by the way. Very light, I'd say. I'd say you were off that day. You were tired or something. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting you to go in on him. Yeah. He's a good employee. Yeah. I wasn't targeting Andrew. Shut up, dude. Just own it. How about some accountability? You're immature, bro. That's fine. You know, I used to be immature also. You shit you can work on. How are you even going to deny that? I was targeting the policy that the store had in place. You were doing both. Stop. 
Just because your fans are 12 doesn't mean that I'm 12. <laughs> what you're saying doesn't make any fucking sense. But me and Andrew are cool. Andrew actually thinks it's hilarious. That's the thing. It didn't seem like he did. He was literally running from a mob of people as you chased him and shoved the mic in his mouth. But okay, I don't, you know, good for I'm glad that you guys sorted it. Yeah, man, they sorted it out and it's all good. It's the same shit Rice Gum said. The girl was okay with me making the did it feel good though joke. Like, she's okay with it. It's fine. Yeah. It's every time, yeah, when these pranksters get called out, they're like, the other party was fine. That's why I kind of sh shrug when you're like, oh, he bought him a camera. It's like, well, yeah, because yeah. everyone shit on him fucking said that this was fucked up. So he's like, oh, I'm going to go try to be cool with them. If nobody cared, I don't think he would. But whatever. Maybe he would. I'm not here to make assumptions about this man. Me and Andrew are cool. <sighs> Literally, I posted a picture of me and him. I was supposed to show this on the... I was supposed to drop the video on the second channel. But I actually bought Andrew a camera. I was like, you know what, Andrew, bro? You gave me such a banger video. I was like, let me get you something. I said... Because I've been every time I see him, I'm like, bro, let me buy you something. He's like, no. No, 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 no. Then he was finally like... I want a new camera. And I was like, okay, bet. And I literally bought him like a $3,000 camera. I bought it for him. And he was like, thank you. And, not, and, like, and he was like, thank you. <laughs> Damn, he, he was that appreciative? He may have been. I don't know. Maybe he's, you know, I could, I could see them working something out after the fact. Yeah, I'm sure they're fine. Yeah. I, I get, and that's good that he did that, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah, like, we're, we're cool, man. Just... Don't bring another army of shirtless guys yeah. and call me my <laughs> name with a megaphone <laughs> at my workplace, making minimum wage. Right. We're yeah. cool. Yeah, I think mean, the camera's great. Love the camera. It, there's nothing funnier than harassing minimum wage workers. Like, that's something that I've always been about my whole career. <laughs> yeah. You know, always, famously. In fact, Gideon, I remember going back to the God of Cringe. I was making fun of him because he was fucking with Starbucks employees. Minimum wage workers, so. Right. And you can go wow, back to that time. Name I haven't heard in a long time. A yeah, long the God time. of Cringe. The God of Cringe. Holy shit. We shouldn't have said his name. We just invoked it. I know. He's, he's back. In the replies. The spirit is back. <laughs> you remember he was doing, the God of Cringe was doing a news show, like, butt-ass naked? Yeah. Just, but right, <laughs> yeah. just right above his dick line? <laughs> you remember that, love? Yeah, I do. <laughs> That's good shit, huh? <laughs> Bad news, so right? Wild. Bear News. Oh, it was called Bear News? I think so. <laughs> I don't remember quite. What is that? A, I don't understand what you, the note, AB. You don't understand that joke? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm saying that his next thumbnail is going to say, Ethan Klein says he's black because you... Oh, Dark, dark Ethan. Ethan. Yeah. yeah. Cultural appropriation. Like, I promise on everything, y'all. That was before I knew about this H3 video. It wasn't me even trying to like clear my conscience or anything. Make a minimum wage, probably. He's just trying to be a good employee, and y'all had to fuck with him like that. And call him out by name, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Bro! Again, bro, that's the lightest I've ever roasted anybody ever. But I think, Gideon, you're obviously immature, and that's fine. You need to learn to accept some criticism. That's good. That's how we grow. You'd be like, you know, I can see that. How hard would that be? But you go, oh, we weren't targeting Andrew. Shut up. We but, know he's capable of that because he did, he did uh, kind of back down during the whole... Um, remember he had the whole beef with Pokimane and they ended up yeah. washing it and everything? And yeah, so yeah. It seems like he's capable of reflection. So, I don't know, maybe just... Well, don't, that, don't harass the, employees anymore. The really fucked the up prank, part but. comes at the end here, so we're working towards it. But yeah, that was good how we made up with Pokey. I thought that was dope. The redemption arc. I feel like Ethan, because Ethan goes harder on people. He's not going as hard as me as he could have. Okay. No, but that. you could tell there's some part of him. He probably didn't like everything that I did, but you could tell some part of him kind of liked it. It wasn't funny. <laughs> no part of it was funny. <laughs> In my opinion. Dude, but he was That's shirtless. Legit not funny. He was shirtless. <laughs> and a megaphone. Like, I pr what I do appreciate is the effort, you know? Like, I like the execution of it in you a organize vacuum. a big group yeah. of people to be in on it, like a flash mob kind of thing. Yeah, and, I thought yeah, that, you know. I thought the execution was, was impressive and good. Mm. 
but I didn't like the the thrust of it. It's not funny. <laughs> but I try. I got to be more sensitive because I, I I I like him. He didn't do anything like really bad, except you know defame me in the thumbnail, which is kind of fucked up. Really fucked up. Also, it's like, bro. I don't know if you know this, but Best Buy is not the only place you can't go in without a shirt. Oh wait, it's not. No, you're lying, Ethan. I thought it was just Best Buy. Right. Pretty sure that's everywhere. And he has a lab mic on him. Yeah. So, well, why are you feigning surprise? You literally just said you were going after Best Buy's policy for not allowing people to come in without shirt. And not Andrew. I mean, the joke was that you went after Andrew, and it's fine, but just own it. He has someone following him with a camera. Clearly they know he's there to fuck around. What? All right, let me go to the part right. that, that was the end where he goes too far with it. Um, I'll skip forward a little bit here for you guys. Ethan, but I know you guys watch this podcast, bro. You can stop the cap. So what's Brody's name? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I like this part. He's, he calls Dan <laughs> Wan. Yeah. W Dan. Yeah, in fact... There, I'll go back a little bit. In fact, yeah, in fact yeah. the video was hilarious, Jay. And I'm, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just backing up. Ethan. Is he your best friend? Yeah, BFF's material right Let there. Let me go back because he says he does compliment. He calls Dan Wan, which I'm, which is dope for you, Dan. I'm, pr I'm happy for you. <laughs> but by the way, I was on board with the redemption arc stuff too. That yeah. man's, bro. Oh, <laughs> let, let me go back. This was pre-redemption arc. Pre-redemption arc again. Yeah. You know. No man, look at over here. That's my man. That means bro! <laughs> Who is this guy? Chat, you guys are over here saying L. Ethan, but I know you guys watch it. So tell me who Brody is so I can say thank you. Wham's who is this dude? Chat. You guys are saying L. Ethan, L. Ethan, but yeah, I know. I know you guys chat watch fucking it. hates me. It's awesome. Just you know. Fast, bro. Yeah, but they love Dan, so. Wham. Don't go too hard on the chat. <laughs> 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 Although he probably. Yeah, I'm the one who brings up the KKK video, so he probably switches up on me real quick. I didn't, I didn't see that far. So okay, good, good, I... good. <laughs> <laughs> you can stop the cap. So what's Brody's name? Dan. They know what? you. Dan. W Dan. W Dan. Wan. <laughs> I Wan like that. in the chat. Wan. W A N. Yo, you Wan should grab that, Zach. Wan. <laughs> okay. That could be useful. The chat, y'all. Well, can we get Wans in the chat, guys? W Dan, Wan. See, I like that. That's good. <laughs> Pre redemption arc. Pre redemption arc. Again. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. It's true. He has redeemed himself. He's redeemed. Yeah. Now he's just running interference for the KKK. Now you brought it there, bro. <laughs> Are you going to, you're How no longer Wan? <laughs> yeah, this is actually, so this is where he gets mad. Yeah, okay, now watch this. Yeah. Now you're Lan. Land. 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 <laughs> you, some days you're land, some days you're land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> much, much more minor than. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's like, bro, I went, went and met the leader of the KKK. He's actually a really good guy, you yeah, guys. Yeah, he didn't shoot. Yeah, so, again, <laughs> he was, I really, I think that's a really valid criticism of that video he made. Sorry. He, he went to the KKK. And he was like, well, look how other... fucking cool they are, basically. Or how nice they are, anyway, right? Well, sort of. He ba I think that to sum up his message is like, oh, they're, you know, people think uh, they're awful and everything, but I was able to go have a conversation. And it, it, it sort of had the attitude that, like, if we could just break down barriers and, and speak, maybe I could convince him to not hate me for the color of my skin. Wan. No. I think that's incredibly naive. Um, but that Lan. You know. <laughs> Switching it up on you. Yeah. Go off, King. Like here, so this is like the leader of the KKK or some shit. I went to the most racist town in America. Every guy's church. Or maybe if maybe I can even attend a church service. No. Okay. It is a racial church. Oh. It is an offshoot of... Israeli identity. Usually, yo, 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 yo! Don't bring my people into this. Well, let's see where it goes. Because <laughs> no, Gideon's some, like, uh, oh, they're interesting. Because I thought you guys hated Jews, and he's like, oh, wow. Oh yeah. I, <laughs> hold on a second. You know, I, yeah. I, I love how he's more respectful to the head of the KKK 
rather than Andrew from Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I think this guy's just the head of like some fucking oh, okay. podunk towns, like oh, okay. little chapter. By the way, the again, or whatever. not the lead racist. Again, yeah. I challenge you to find any white supremacist that doesn't look like some fucking backwater hick. <laughs> like, find me one handsome white supremacist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, nobody's trying to fucking. No wonder you guys don't want to intermix. Like, once you open the pool, you're never going to get laid again. Because the women are not going to want to date you fucking missing tooth ass, fucking river boating, Yeehaw! catfish eating, camo wearing, Mountain Dew drinking. <laughs> yeah, fucking dip chewing, goofy ass. Some people that find themselves racial, they don't like Jews and stuff like that. So that's kind of like a. It's kind of... Well, we're brothers in that. You know who the KKK hates? Jews and black people, man. We're brothers in that. We got to band together, bro. They hate us both. Well, Shocking to hear. Well, we are not Jewish. Jews is not the chosen people. <laughs> uh, that the white race is. Do you have anything to say to the boys and girls out there? Oh, thanks for listening. Hey, dude, that is such Brutal. a dub for him. <laughs> Thanks for listening all to my white supremacist propaganda. Also, all right, I'm opening the stage, brother. <laughs> what would you like to say to the millions Amen. of young people watching? Uh -huh. Amen. The white Amen. rice. I really think he was <laughs> he was trying to do something good here. Yes, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's very it's very naive to think that you can break down this guy's racism by engaging with him. Here's the He's mic, slayed, brother. Dude. Yeah, that's what I, I think why he gets so defensive about this video is because he feels like he did something really good and interesting and mature. And I acknowledge that, you know, but maybe if he hadn't made content out of it, you could argue that. Like if he just personally went that'd be fun and, and, and engaged with these people. I mean, there's a very famous story of a black man who befriended a KKK guy, yeah. and he did change, he turned him around. And, actually, and, and, I think he turned a bunch of clan members. Right, and so it, I, yeah. I, think, I think it actually is coming from a good place, but the, platforming him, and I mean, that video has like 10 million views now or something, and Dude. if you look at the comments, it's all these people like, wow, it's amazing, you know, these guys aren't that bad. <laughs> it's just like, uh, that's not, it's not good. It's not good to spread that to a bunch of children, that the KKK isn't that bad not good yes yeah, so that's my problem i think he's just daryl davis is the name thank you love he, of the guy who he's just not quite mature enough yet or maybe he just needs people who understand this look because i don't know just passing the mic off to a fucking a kkk member is there anything you want to tell the people thanks for listening i mean that's <laughs> fucking wild yeah, that's pretty uh, bad it's pretty bad that the white race is do you have anything to say? He's to like, nah, fuck, kill them Jews. The white rascals, bro. <laughs> well, anyway, thanks for listening. <laughs> I am, of course, a white supremacist. <laughs> thanks for listening, y'all. The boys and girls out there? Oh, thanks for listening. What? He's like, man, nobody ever let me talk about this shit so openly. Thanks for listening. If y'all want to come to a meeting, you know where to find me. Woo-hoo-wee! <laughs> Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Oh, also, um, is it bigger than black and white? Yeah. What affects one do. will eventually poison the other. It is bigger than black and white. All right, thank you for your time. All righty. <sighs> that was, that was something. Damn, you gonna throw up on their property? Damn. Brandon's saying, <laughs> that's how much Brandon hates her. Well, there's one moment in this. Before I get to the, what he actually said, I just kind of want to set it up here for ultimate irony. Uh, Hassan was the one that showed me about this. And Hassan was making the same points that we are. And Gideon fucking lost it. He hated that Hassan was saying this shit. I like this, but I came here with the heart to come with that. And I appreciate you coming out with the heart to have that same conversation with us, you know? What is, yo, question, Zoomers so, are, is there anything you want to say bro, Zoomers are unsalvageable, dude. I swear <laughs> to fucking God. I know that people are going to turn around, uh, young Gideon uh, fans are going to turn around and fucking yell at me and be like, he's black, you're not. What the fuck do you know about racism or whatever the fuck? But like, God damn, dude.
just straight brain broken if you're like, oh, what a civil conversation. This dude's literally a fucking white separatist, man. He just said it. He said it openly. Like, he's part of the clan. Bro, that's your fucking problem, bro. Like, okay, yeah. Oh, God. There's, this is a whole... Uh, How many layers conversation? Uh, hopefully someone reacts to this. Yeah, actually, and that's perfect because uh, my windows in the top right. Yeah, yeah, there's one more corner. So left. yeah, we have yeah, one corner left for anyone. Yeah. Who's gonna take it? <laughs> corner besties. <laughs> the niggas in the clan. Fuck it. Okay, who? I don't give a fuck. Bro, he literally. That's a crazy thing to say, man. That's a crazy just, thing to say. He doesn't understand what he, he doesn't understand. <laughs> like. It, it, does he just not know the history of the clan? What that means? He he doesn't know what he's saying. And this is a violent. This isn't just like this isn't just average racist. Like if, if you want to like engage with just like your average MAGA guy, mm -hmm. like okay, but the clan lynches <laughs> black people. The clan burns down synagogues. They they. This is a violent, you know, white supremacist group. It's it's. You should you should I mean, care. You should care that he's part of the clan. You should care. Also, these people actually influence things. I mean, you see people in government who aren't as openly uh, racist, violently racist, but they're, these people influence things. It was up to them. Race, marrying someone of a different race would be illegal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, teaching like Judaism and and in school would be illegal. They want like a Christian theocr. The Theocracy. So you should care, like Dan said. It's pretty wild that you don't. But again, Gideon's twenty-one, so that's kind of what. Yeah, that's I and it's fine. That, yeah. It's fine. I just think he needs to chill a little bit. Like you can't fucking throw out shit like Ethan is a liberal Jew with me saying he looks like an orangutan. So you're. I don't care. Racist liberal, not white racist. Too. Racist liberal. Here that he's in the clan and stuff like that. I just wanted to have the dialogue, and I got the dialogue. I got the dialogue. I had the conversation. Me and him, we shook hands. We parted our ways. I don't. I don't. I don't care if he if he doesn't respect me. I don't care and stuff like that. We had the dialogue. That's your problem. Is literally you heard that he was a KKK member. Boom. Oh, I cannot hear anything. Nope. It's like, bro. I think that's. Pretty fine though. It's like, I'm a Nazi. It's like, cool. Tell me, tell me about yourself. But there's nothing wrong with having a conversation, right, with Nazis or KKK members. But I do think you need a baseline of knowledge and a baseline of understanding of of what it is you're putting out there to have responsibly engage in that conversation. Which is why, I, for example, I removed my Jordan Peterson interviews knowledge you know i promise you everything that just went through this conversation went in through one ear and out the other all you all that stuck was he's part of the kkk bad yeah what's interesting is ultimately what he's doing is defending a clan member right now mm -hmm. yes yes he's like yo this guy's a good guy bro this guy's a nice man get on his ass case closed and stuff like that i want the conversation that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Yeah, but there, there's also a thing like having an open dialogue with people like clan members or Nazis legitimizes them in a way. It mm -hmm. shows people that they're enga worth engaging with in conversation. And their position is like a non-starter, which is like death to Jews and black people. You, you can't. Yeah, there's no middle ground. There's exactly. <laughs> there's but, no like. I mean, they wrap it up. There. They have they have optics, right? They have PR. They know how to say it without saying it. Death to all Jews. The, the Keemstar knows. Insidious, <laughs> but so, so unironically turns into a great example of how racism is insidious, but so, um, so apparent and and very much a part of people's lives because like, if your takeaway from this is like, oh well, look, actually they're not that racist at all. Right? Like, look at that. If your takeaway is like looking at a guy who should have says he's a part of the clan and is a, is a white separatist, not a segregationist, <clears throat> and your takeaway is like he can, st or not your takeaway, but like your takeaway should be that even a guy who's like straight up saying like, uh, you know, that they're a white separatist can be polite to a black person to their face, okay? 
that does not change the reality that they're like violently and virulently racist. Especially when they know they're on camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. This is for this is the best PR moment for him. He literally got to like platform his ideas and get almost like with the kitty gloves on. And then he, he goes, "Yo, what do you want to say to the people?" Thanks for listening. <laughs> Boy, I sure do appreciate. And also, death to all the Jews. All right. Thanks for listening, y'all. Yeehaw! I just want to say to the young people of America, we need to round up all the Jews. They are in charge of our banking system, our government, and all the New World Order. If you look at every major war, I bet there's a Jew around behind it. Yeehaw! It's not okay. So in, in short, I want to say we need to kill all the Jews. Thanks for listening. Hallelujah. Gideon's like, wow. What a good guy, man. We love that. By the way, Hassan pretty brave for this because this video was like mega viral and everyone was loving it. And he's the first guy that was like, this shit's kind of insane. Mm-hmm. So he went into the viper pit with this, and he's right. Nathaniel Klansman here. Yeah, we have a noose here just for decoration. It reminds us of the good old days. Mm-hmm. Not that we would ever use it, but it reminds us. Well, I sort of like that. Doesn't so, you, wait, you, like, I like, you know, this is what I'm taking away from it. Just because he didn't, you're basically saying to me, what I, like, this is, this is how I personally feel. This is how I feel. Like, bro, like, this isn't, like, fact or, this is all opinion. This is how I feel. What you're saying to me is, I don't understand, basically, what's going on in this situation. That I just had this, this, this was a 45 minute conversation that we cut down. That in this 45 minute conversation, I have no idea what was happening and stuff like that. And I need well, yeah, to well, relook everything. The reason that's I'm why, watching that, this is because he goes, he accuses Hassan of being a, a liberal racist because of, honestly, he doesn't really ever explain why. But here, this is what he does here. So back to the original video. I know this was a long tangent. Much, much more minor than. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's like, we were, bro, I met, went and met the leader of the KKK. He's actually a really good guy, you yeah, guys. Yeah, he didn't shoot. Like, bro, bro, I met, went and met the leader of the KKK. He's actually a really good guy, you <laughs> yeah, guys. He didn't... Okay. Now, that's a funny joke. I mean, come on, bro. <laughs> I was just having fun in this video, but that actually pissed me off, bro. Oh, really? That actually really pissed me off. That actually... There he goes, defending his good buddy, the head of the local KKK. You know, you went too far. This is my good buddy, Nathaniel Klansman. He's a great guy. And I'm going to get pissed off about it. <laughs> Jitty just can't stop defending KKK members. It really pissed me <laughs> off, actually. Ooh wee Guys. 4K, this is liberal racism. 4K, this is liberal racism. And the, the crazy thing about it is they, they can't wrap their minds around what liberal racism is. Hmm. In their minds, there's no way a liberal can be racist. It's literally impossible. Definitely, it's so definitely don't believe that. They, they don't. <laughs> I mean, liberals can be racist as fuck and oftentimes are. Let me let so I'm open. Obviously, if somebody's like, "Oh, you're this is racist. What you're doing is," I'm open to listening. That's obviously a huge accusation to make. So I just want to li really listen, hear him out here. Get it? They and they never will. They never Gotta will get it. Me. Bad this Bob is so patronizing. Is that us or him? Him, I that was him. I guess you think we cool. So that's it. He doesn't explain why or what that even means. It just seems to be that because I'm criticizing him, I'm a liberal racist. And actually, he called it 4K, so it must be super obvious. But what's crazy about Gideon is that he accuses me of being a liberal racist. And then this motherfucker has the ball. Pull up that thumbnail again. From that short clip, 
People were sending me this thumbnail. Look at him act like an orangutan. Now, bro, this is so fucked up on so many levels. First of all, you're putting out this racist trope. Okay, you're putting it out there. You're attributing something horrifically racist with a chat bubble, meaning I verbatim said that. Mm -hmm. Also, it's kind of interesting how Gideon is practically... Because he's gone full circle and become a social justice warrior. Because it's like... Everybody... He sees ra everybody's. Ra he's calling everybody racist. Well, <laughs> oh if I could stop you in his defense, the KKK guy, he's okay with. <laughs> yeah, that right. Yeah. What I said was too far. Yeah. No, but it's like, dude, if you're gonna call me racist, I'm interested to hear what you've said. And by the way, I agree that liberals can be racist. I don't agree that they can't. And I've done, I've said and done racist things. And you know, I'm always open to hearing and learning from it. But the one thing that's super fucked up, you can't put that out, dude. You can't do that in a thumbnail. That's insane. That's fucking insane. With the title, Jaden reacts to H3H3 H3 showing liberal racism on his podcast. Also, so like... Maybe he... Because it is unlisted now, which we discovered just at like an hour before the show. Um, is it possible this is all the fault of like his editor or something? And Hell he no. Maybe even told them to take it down? I just doubt giving it. that possibility... Because I do think it, we hadn't responded to it yet, and he unlisted the video. So like, send me the link of the. Oh, here it is. But I think it has more to do with the the second strike. Yeah, it's. I think it's the second right. strike. Because and, this uh, is community guidelines territory with that thumbnail. Okay. Right. And it pro it may have been age restricted or just matured. Oh, he commented on it, bro. He commented on. I it. told you. Yeah, Let's yeah. Go. He pinned that comment. I missed the old age three. Pinned that's by why I said that's what we should That's his main video. channel, bro. Let's go. <laughs> no plausible deniability for our boy. This is on Gideon Premium, and his main channel commented that. Well, there goes that theory. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I was trying to give him an out. I know. It's it's probably the H three haters. They're saying you already got your second strike. Watch out. He's gonna call Susan, get you removed. All the conspiracy theories. Oh, you theories. think so? Oh, def, def. I'm already seeing it a little bit. Yeah. Well, Call up, uh, call up Susan. I'm not, I didn't report it. I'm not doing anything. I just think it's insane. We haven't talked about it until now. You're right. I don't know how that would be possible. Bro, of course I'm going to say it. Like, why am I the asshole? If he gets, uh, if he gets, why am I the asshole for this fucking thumbnail? Like, sorry, dude. Your age is showing, and that's fine. Let's read some comments. I'm sure they're good. Be careful putting it on screen without screening it first. You never know what'll pop up down there. <laughs> H3 hating on creators becoming more successful than him is nothing new. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you mean by that. H3, H3 humor. H3 propagates liberal racism. Thank you, Gideon, for finally saying what we were all thinking. It's been on everybody's mind. Yo, that shit's fucked up, bro. That's honestly, that is literally defamation. So, so here's where the part where I, okay, this is the mature part, okay? This is where I show my, my Gross. grace. I'm graceful, like God himself. Mm -hmm. Let's get some Gregorian chants going, Zach. Yeah, get, let's get the vibes right. There it is. In my old age, I have learned many things, Gideon. The faults of youth is a given, but it's what we do when confronted mm -hmm. that lets us age gracefully. Gideon, you're young. You don't know what you're doing. And so I'm willing to let this slide, just that you took things too far. But I do think it's important now as you mature and keep making content, like, I don't want him, I don't want you to get banned on YouTube. You can't just let it slide, please. <laughs> and actually, I'll say, I don't think you did anything really wrong. I think you're a good guy, and I think you're funny. And you proved that you can be mature and squash the beef when it came to, uh, whatever happened with Pokemon. 
that was nice. That made me feel good. But I'm warning you with peace and love, you take shit too far. Keemstar's on Twitter blaming Ethan for Gideon's TikTok getting deleted. Is that right? Yeah. Wait, what did I do? It, it's it's not worth it. It's exactly what I said. I haven't even seen his TikTok. What was his TikTok? Dude, Keemstar's the only one that's actually writing YouTube. Like, we know we have we have absolute fucking proof of it. Oh, okay. What? What happened? <laughs> I don't, I've never, I've never visited his TikTok. I don't even fucking know, but it's typical Keemstar anti-Semitism slash Ethan obsession. Terrorist! Um, but I will say Gideon. Oh. I think he just needs a... Oh, he said Gideon called out H3 yesterday. And today he received one YouTube strike. It wasn't even for this video. The video's still up, idiot. <laughs> like, if he got a community strike, the video would be erased. I have the unlisted video open right now. That's a fantastic like, point. idiot. I mean... And it yeah. doesn't even... It's not even age-restricted. Dumb fuck, bro. Jadian called out H3 yesterday. Today he receives one YouTube strike and his TikTok banned. <laughs> Bro, you are so fucking dumb. Does he think that you have clout with TikTok? Because Ethan gets every single I, fucking video I removed can't post on TikTok. I a single fucking video on TikTok. <laughs> I stop. I basically stopped uh, posting on TikTok. So frustrating! Yeah, every video I post there gets age-gated. I feel very foolish. Bro, that's so nuts. <laughs> Especially when it's proven that he's the only one that actually is writing YouTube and having shit done. Like, but anyway, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not wanting you to get banned or anything crazy. I'm just saying what you did is fucked up. I think you need to acknowledge that this thumbnail was fucked up. You can't do that to me or anyone, right? And and you know, I'm willing to let that slide. I am. So. Also, if you want to, also, if you want to accuse me of liberal racism, I would love to hear you out if you want to have a conversation about it, an open, honest conversation. I'd love to learn how I'm being a liberal racist because you didn't explain it here. Let the conversation begin. Thank you, Garth. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do forgive you. I'm not, you know, uh, listen. An apology would be nice, but I, I'm not going to demand it of you. Okay. You're you're a good guy. You're funny. You're talented. You're 21 years old, and we love that for you. In fact, I'm 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 looking out for you. You got to chill, dude. Do we know why he got a second strike? I don't think it was confirmed. It was. We were hearing different things about him reacting to a gambling stream. But right, he was saying yeah. that it was because of some gambling stuff, but he... Oh, that's crazy. That's, he says that he's adamantly against He it. said he's against the gambling, and he was, like, reacting to some gambling stuff, and that... Could be a mistake, then. It could yeah. be a mistake, yeah. yeah. But, again, that's why Steve will do it got banned. But, actually, he should talk to Keemstar, because he knows why. It was for this video that's still up, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, the brightest. I don't know that. I love how he goes. Oh, this shit pissed me off. And then, like, does that? People saying, "But is he a good guy?" Or I, you're I, going too easy on him? I, 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 I he seems, he, does, he seems like he doesn't have bad intentions, right? Exactly. Like yeah. I. The worst thing I can say about that clan video is that it's incredibly nice. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I, I don't. I think he was trying to do something good there mm -hmm. um, and just does not realize that all he's doing is giving a voice to some of the worst people in the country and ones that want him dead and you dead. That's a real irony. It, it happens to be the Klan who happens <laughs> to be uniquely right. well, if it was against legal. black people and Jews. So, you know, we're, we're brothers, bro. Exactly. We're, we're we should be united, here. man. Everybody hates both of us. Well, not everybody. Let's be honest. You know. But people fucking hate Jews, man. <laughs> that guy. I, here's a question I'd like to ask him. If you could kill all black 
people or all Jews, which one would you choose? Now that's <laughs> fucking hard hitting. Pull. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> bad pull. Uh, bad pull. I, bad, I, bad, bad pull. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> trying to do like the uh, stuff, the racism Olympics or anything, but I bet it would be Jews. No, mm -hmm. no, the Klan is really the Klan is first and foremost about Negative. blacks, yeah. Jews. Jews. Well, we'll and, never and honestly, know. And I'll tell you, uh, the Klan historically, at least, was also extremely um, uh, belligerent towards Catholics. Oh, really? At the time when I the Klan was formed, the most of the immigrants from, say, like Ireland or Italy, um, or or Mexicans, um, they're primarily Catholic, and the KKK is very like. Protestantism only so they really just hate anything that isn't them well Maybe if Gideon was doing real journalism, we could have got an answer to that hard-hitting question <laughs> Which one do they hate more? Yeah, or which one would you wipe off the face of the earth? They, they've killed a lot more black people than Jews. That's fair. I, I would that's say that's they're more racist. That's true. That's true. Black people. Wan we got W Dan Wan over here <laughs> Shout out to emo jalapeno for five gifted subs. Yo, that makes me want to eat nachos for dinner. What the fuck? Literally, I just saw not jalapeno and I had a whole <laughs> vision for dinner. Think <laughs> the <laughs> gifted. That's fucking mental illness right there. God damn. Think of the gifted. Yeah, so but I think there's a road to like squashing the beef. I'd like to be friends with him. I'd like to talk with him. I don't think he has bad intentions. And uh and you know, he's a Let's witty in it together. Yeah. Witty in. We can do this. <laughs> witty in. Yes. <laughs> witty in. Okay, so there you go. You know. But I'm not overreacting, right? That thumbnail he posted was, and the title was fucking nuts, right? It's mostly the thumbnail. You know, if he wants to call you a liberal racist, I mean, you the th Yeah, I mean, the thumbnail an and the title that, in, yeah, in it, conjunction. I agree, yeah was so crazy. I actually panicked when I saw it, because like, I didn't say that shit, did I? <laughs> That's like, he says I said it verbatim. I could probably see you for defamation if I was a petty little bitch. I am a hater, I am a hater-ass bitch, but not a petty little bitch. Well, I probably am, but I don't sue people. I get sued. <laughs> you are, you're very petty, but you don't sue people. If I was vindictive though, Let's be honest, there's a lot of people I could sue that I don't. I'm not vindictive. I'm not. Yeah. I, I really am not. I'm thinking about suing them, too. <laughs> oh, wait. There was, okay, so hold on, Gideon. There was some great moments uh, that I wanted to show you guys. Um. Uh just so you know, though, we've gone very long. We we really got to get to. I need that screen that. cap of him doing the salute. It's here. It's a it's a video link, but yeah, I, it's it's honestly, just so fast. Yeah, seeing so, it in motion is much more uh, sus than just a screenshot, though. So let me slow it down. This was a moment. Did you cut this by accident, Dan? Uh, no, because I was looking up that video. I was actually originally looking for the video where he was arguing back and forth with the song because I was trying to refresh myself on like what that whole exchange was about. And yeah, I just stumbled upon it, I think, in the comments section of his original video because um, I was looking for a timestamp and somebody was like, oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and I clicked on it and was like, whoa. Yeah, it's pretty awesome that he does a whole video about racism. <laughs> and now he's standing in front of like, it looks like a clan run kind of building here. Yeah, we should note though that those those are just kids from the local high school. Those aren't like the clan members that he's with. Right, but actually they didn't even throw up any mm. hails. But here is Gideon. Let's go, brother. That was good form too. That was, that was like a strong he hit that he hit that hit the strong, dab. Yeah, he hit that dab hard as hell, boy. <laughs> There's one where his arm is really straight. Does he do it twice? Yeah, he does it twice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Don't that, don't do that. That's that's racist, my friend. <laughs> that's actually super that's actually, fucked up. Yeah, don't do that. And a, it's just so ironic, man. You're doing a video about racism, and you've included you doing a fucking Heil Hitler in front of a clan place. 
Fucking hilarious. Great content. But he's saying he's saying anti-Semitism is something we can all joke about and have fun with. Right. Yeah, right. that's fun. That's yeah. okay. That's fine. That's okay. Yeah. I thought that was a Fortnite emote. Yeah, maybe it's <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, on their again, ass. he's the king of removing deniability. Because mm. usually when people get caught doing salutes, they'd be like, oh, I was doing something else. But he, he even hits it with one of these. It's pretty clear what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, like, here. Four nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. no. Hey. I like this new fork dance. This is horrible. Fortnite dance. What do you call this? Hey. Oh, my God. Heil Tomato Town. So shut the fuck up, dude. Don't, don't accuse me no. of some bullshit racism. <laughs> Not explain it, and then be doing Heil Hitler's Fortnite. So you know what? Stuck. I, I, you know what? I still stand by all the things I said, but also suck my tiny Jewish dick too. Gross, baby. Hit, hit that music again. What? Wrong chug? One? What do you call that? The chug jug? Chug jug. Yeah. Come with the chug jug. Hit him. Hit me with that. It's that clan Kool Aid. Yes. Hey. Hey. Throw him up. Hey. Throw him up. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> that happened right as I clicked up. What happened? It's getting all creepier and shit. Oh, so bad. All right. Anyway, you guys get the picture. Thank you. Kill it. Kill it. Thank you. Wow. All right. We've been going an hour and 15 minutes. We've got to do it. Thank you to HelloFresh. We love them, folks. They are truly awesome. Uh, what is HelloFresh? You get farm fresh, pre portioned ingredients, and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip the trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable, and that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Savor every last second of summer with HelloFresh. HelloFresh delivers fresh, quality produce from the farm straight to your door in less than a week, allowing you to enjoy the delicious flavors of the seasons right from home. Skip the grocery store and spend more time soaking up those summer rays. HelloFresh Market is a one-stop shop for all your mealtime needs with a curated selection of breakfast, lunch, snacks, and dessert. What is HelloFresh? Fooper Troopers absolutely love HelloFresh. These are all pictures sent in from our community. And thank you guys, by the way, for doing that. And this this food looks amazing. They send you basically a pre-portioned ingredients with an info card explaining about the ingredients and telling you basically step-by-step step exactly how to cook the meal so that it's... Oh, what is that? That caught my eye. Ooh, that looks that good. Is, that Tell me more about that one. Ooh, that's HelloFresh, baby. What's inside of it? Anything you want. Damn. Look at those grill marks. Ah, feast your, eat your heart out. Wow. And AB's burrito, of course. Yeah, so they send you pre-portioned ingredients. They tell you how to cook it. I've actually learned stuff. I feel like I'm a pretty experienced chef, home chef, whatever. And I picked up even some really useful tips that I implement today. Like one thing I learned from doing HelloFresh is they tell you when you take like a steak or something out of the pack, mm. you wash off the schmutz, not to clean it. I know cleaning meat is bullshit. You rinse out the gook and then you dry it with a towel, perfectly dry it. So it's totally dry. And then when you sear it, you leave a much nicer sear on it. So that's, mm. I have to do that now. I dry all my meat before I Throw them in a hot pan. Yeah, hey, try that. Super delicious, man. Their food is awesome. Everybody loves it. It's also nutritious. It's healthy. It's everything and more. It's the moment. Go to HelloFresh.com slash H3TV16 and use the code H3TV16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and get three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash H3TV16. Use the code H3TV16. Thank you to HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Yeah. Ow. All right. 
So that's the well. So there's actually two wars to talk about today. Yeah, actually, I, when you said let's get into the war, I thought we were about to talk about this other thing. <laughs> yeah, so there's that's one war. Mm -hmm. That's not even the big war, though. The big war. Maybe it's one war, two fronts. Yeah, one more, we're, we're one fighting, more, two fronts. Mm, that's tough. You don't want to fight a war on two fronts. No, no. <laughs> that KKK guy's hero uh, learned that the hard way. Mm hmm. Hitler. That's Adolf Hitler that I was referring, referring to. The, West, the Western and Eastern fronts of yeah, uh, the yeah, Europe. Not a good war. idea. Yeah. Let me ask you this, Dan. Did he open the Eastern Front yeah. while he was being invaded already? No. Because they did a D-Day and... D-Day was way later. So The so war was actually almost coming to a conclusion when D-Day happened. We like to psych ourselves. And I mean, it, it definitely helped. But um, yeah, uh, D-Day was in uh, 42, right? And mm -hmm. um, he had So invaded. it wasn't his choice, the two-front war. It was... Uh... Yeah, he thought. So let's, that, let's let's be fair to to poor. <laughs> let's be fair to fair to Adolf. He's Adolf's a good fair. guy. I'm pretending Stop. I'm shitty in here. Yeah. Anyway, so um. Okay, so Jimmy Lee, as you guys know, continues to have a rough redemption arc, to the point where we're pretty much swearing him off. Right, right, it's right. It's coming. It's coming to hey. that. But here's the last one. Dan went all out on poor Jimmy Lee. Here it is. <laughs> Dan, you're getting your shirts next week. I even got one for Dan, who hates me. I really do. <laughs> you're an asshole. I know. Oh, don't. You did it. You actually did it. How are, you, how are you feeling about that, now that you've sat with it for a minute? I, I feel fine with it. <laughs> I feel... I, I, wouldn't, I couldn't lie to him in that moment. Yeah. You yeah. know, he always does that. He always like, Dan, you hate me. And it's like, I, I, I don't really like him. And But I would always be like, I don't want to hurt his feelings. I don't want to make him feel bad. But as as we'll see, I don't want to spoil anything. But there, there was an incident that morning on social media with Jimmy that I had seen. That's that what we're getting to. Left a very bad taste in my mouth. And so when he said that, I, I did not feel like protecting his feelings this time I okay okay so we'll get to that don't say that i know and i'm all right with it dan it took me he's made his peace with that dan though so so mm -hmm. you're good by the way do we have all the memes of people getting a angry at us for uh, well, oh yeah we do yeah yeah in fact the subreddit has been torn to really bit. more of a uh, civil war it is it is a civil war yeah. and as you guys know a country divided cannot stand Man, As American. the great Abraham Lincoln said, and I like to always compare myself to Abraham Lincoln as much as possible. So let me be the peacemaker, or if you can't make peace, I will fucking invade you. <laughs> um, somebody says about me, Ethan pities Jimmy like Frodo pities Schmeagol. He sees a part of himself in Jimmy. <laughs> now I don't know Does about that. Does that make that you part. Sam? I don't know about that. Because that's that's a that's a W. Sam's Thank the you. shit. Sam you're, saw no, that right makes through Dan's Eagle. them. See Dan that. Wise Gamgee, dude. Dan Wise Gamgee. All right. Dan Wise. I'm down Wan, for that. Wan, Wan Wise Gamgee. <laughs> so I thought this was pretty funny. I don't know that I see myself in Jimmy though. Let's take a step back here a little bit. <laughs> I see my dad in Jimmy. Does that count? Um, it con continues on. Another post says, "We f we hate fucking <laughs> hobbitses. We don't want anyone sniffing around our precious unless they're serious." Bingo. <laughs> he was having fanfare. They're having fanfare. Did you make this cam? Yeah, I did. This is so fucking. Do funny. you like his spray on hairline? I love every <laughs> single thing about this. This is so clever. I'm a nerd. Bingo. We're having fanfare, Ethan. I didn't make the Reddit post, though. I just made the meme there. Okay. Uh, this one got a lot of upvotes. Um, almost 2,000. I'm with Dan. No more Jimmy. He's just an asshole. He doesn't deserve a platform. He's not even funny. Please, for the love of God, stop having him on. <laughs> can, I, can I submit that that's why he's so good? Like, that's what makes him great. Like we're poking the bear. Have you ever met someone like him in your life? 
No, he's a completely unique individual, and I'm not going to pretend like I haven't gotten a lot of laughs out of our goofs with Jimmy Lee, but when he is asking me or stating to me that I hate him, I'm not going to be like, no, I don't hate you. Yeah, I, I, I think he's a dick. Yeah, well, he asked. Sometimes don't he ask asked. questions you don't want to answer. Exactly. To. Uh, this top comment has a good idea. They says, I loved other Jimmy content, but today was cringe. Well... That's the that's the nature of the beast. <laughs> <laughs> they says maybe we can watch him give people root canals. That's interesting. Oh. So obviously a lot of people are against Jimmy. They stand with Dan. But here there's other ones. I love Jimmy. Six hundred points. I've been watching H three since one fucked up dentist days, and it honestly hurts me so much that the H three audience hates Jimmy. We know he's an ass that embraces himself. That's why we love him. I'm a progressive, by the way, but I can understand Jimmy isn't actually oppressing people with these shitty jokes. Whatever happened to the H3 whack pack? Peace and love. We don't use that. It's trademarked. Mm hmm. Where would we be without our audio? Soundbite. Audio. Sound <laughs> Hold it. Yeah, somebody said, I love Jimmy in doses, biannual doses. I, I'm with you, Kyle, Kyle Brain. That's interesting. Well, guys, <laughs> yeah. when, I he, when I hear he's having a, a fan meetup for the whole city of Atlanta, I got to check in on <laughs> I mean, and that's, that's, see, that's the new I thought it was great. Again, I, I, that. I think he's an asshole. I don't like him personally, but him calling in, being at a fan meetup where he didn't tell anyone the address. That's That's comedy. fucking funny. That's he did tell him. people the address. No, he didn't. No, he, he said didn't. Atlanta. He, did. he gave them Atlantic he said, City. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. What more very, would you want? Very, very clear guidelines. Guys, I will be I will be attending Earth for the next three hours. Three to six, baby. I'll see you Come there. Find me. I'll be somewhere in the Milky Way galaxy. There was a picture of the Earth on our Reddit, and it was like, photo of the next H3 meetup. <laughs> yeah, somewhere <laughs> on Earth. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy texted me this morning. His new endeavors, he's going to start doing shows. Okay. See, now that sounds fucking interesting. And he's like, he's like, Zach, you got to do the shows with me. I'm like, no, I'm not <laughs> doing that. Show, what does he mean by shows? Fanfare. He's doing a show. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, why do I keep doing that, idiot? Oh, wait, no, I do want to do that. Idiot. Such an idiot. <laughs> I agree with Dan. Another one. Jimmy's an asshole. He says shitty things to people, hides behind the fact that it's a joke, then gets people into feeling bad for him when they call him out. I'm all mm -hmm. for NG humor, but there needs to actually be a punchline. Some of the shit he says can be kind of funny, but just saying where's his camel to an air person isn't a joke. Yes. Spoiler alert, but yeah. Ethan can and should do whatever he wants with his own show. He is clearly good at what he does. Well, finally somebody says that. But I will continue skipping the vast majority of Jimmy Lee content, and I'm sick of seeing people act like people don't like edgy humor if they don't like Jimmy. I agree with that sentiment. It's not about edgy humor or not. But there you go. It's a very polarizing topic here. Um, and the, the Civil War goes even deeper than this. We're leading to something really shocking. <laughs> this was one meme. I feel like I need to defend myself a little bit here. This had 3,000 points almost. Hey, Jimmy, do your thing. H3. Tells offensive joke. Jimmy Lee. And then I get mad. But the whole the thing was we brought him on as an offensive, uh, out of his mind comic. And then we had this really promising redemption arc. And so we're in the wake of this redemption arc that has clearly failed. And I think that's where this last frame comes from, you know? So, I don't know. But maybe it's starting to feel like that, which isn't good, you know? That's not, that's not good if it feels like that. Yeah. And also, it, the label says H3, which is you, but it was really me who did that, so it's not really fair to criticize you. Maybe it's just a general label for everything that goes on here. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, if that's what's being perceived, that's not good. But if we're leading to something really cataclysmic. <laughs> Uh, Jimmy Lee reminds me of Michael Scott. People say that about me, too. Doing a fan meetup without giving an address, then rallying, rallying up the employees at a beachside restaurant to make it seem like you had fans was a beautiful thing to see. It really gave me Michael Scott vibes. I <laughs> totally agree. I thought that was fantastic. <laughs> but here's where it goes off the rails, okay? We're getting there. But Jimmy 
has been kind of moping around on on social media. Would you say he's moping? Yeah. Yeah. He literally put a few photos in black and white. He's kind of baiting so, yeah. sympathy now. He says, they love me. They hate me. You got to keep going. <laughs> and read the caption. H3H3, make up your mind. I'm the, Jer uh, the Jersey outlaw loves you, but do you love Jimmy Lee? He texted me this, too. He texted you that? Yeah. Oh, he texted that, me. I feel bad now. He texted me, he's like, just watch the show. Did not go well. I think it went well. I mean, it was funny. I mean, I don't think it for Jimmy. I think it was kind of uncomfortable, and I I definitely contributed to that, so I apologize. Listen, I couldn't I couldn't hold back in that well, moment. He, yeah, it was, he it also was, contributed to it. He asked first. He asked you. He asked. He asked you. And he keep and he keep, that's like the fiftieth time that he's done that. Just and I've that. always I've always been like, it's okay, sweetie. I don't <laughs> hate you. It's okay, little baby. This is like this. You're a grown adult. I don't, but in a way, no, I don't like. In a way, it's wrong for us to keep bringing him on and then ridiculing him. Well, he's, we we tell right. him he's got to show progress, and he continuously yeah. reverts back yeah. to the things that we have told him he should not. He had a whole freaking. I personally love Jimmy. I have a soft spot for him. He's my bestie. But I understand people that, uh, you know, the, are over it. The problem is he's getting a little too big for his shoes right now. He's getting a big head. <laughs> he, his ego is tremendous he's, right now. He he's hit been, 11K on Insta and it really... Like, he, he thinks he's Mr. Me Marino and, you know, like, that's why he's reverting back to this old-timey joke <laughs> shit. An old-timey joke. It, it's all cameo. You know, because he's been doing this routine for however long, 20 years, 30 years, and no one has ever, to my knowledge, liked it. <laughs> but now he has people paying requests for them to get shit on. So he's like, oh, shit. He's a professional. I made it. They love it. And he's right, man. He did. He is a professional. He did make it. And I am a fan of Jimmy Lee, and I have been. But, Zach, you talk to him. Yeah, every fucking day. So what, how, do you have any, um, <laughs> any anecdotes of him getting too big for his britches? Just, uh, he, you know, I, I think it's great, you know, he's making these memes, but he, he come out with this merch and uh, the cameo, like AB said. I mean, he thinks, he's, he's feeling on top of the world right now. You know, and uh, that's one it. One thing that kind of surprised me is that he refused to send us his merch. <laughs> that was a little bizarre. He, he claimed that there was a mix-up with some of the shirts and the ordering process, but he, he did eventually sent him. He didn't send us all shirts. He just sent five, which should be here. He, he complained. Well, anyway, so here's another one. He says, hoo, hoo, hoo. It's just me, myself, and I. Solo ride till I die. My man. Friends are the family. You choose H3. Who's this? These memes are so fucking nuts. <laughs> I kind of love him, to be honest. I love his, I think it's Mason. I love his, his meme game. Dude, Mason is on another level. He says, my, H, my family, H3H3, H3, we love H3, but do they love Jimmy? Look at this one. So remorseful. <laughs> he wrote, not one of my proudest moments, but this in black and white. That, of course, was the faded, man, I hate little people. Little people, yeah. With but not. Word, yeah. But hold on, guys. I promise there's something coming up. Okay, so here's where the Civil War actually breaks loose. As you guys know, Arab World News is our new news correspondent. We love him. He's a total sweetie. Uh, here he is, his recent video. Uh, hologram of Field of Dreams. I don't know. But he, he always he, he always hits hard with something. Channel again, we just watched now hologram of legendary cops broadcaster Harry Carey sings, uh, take me uh, out of the ball game. This video is... Anyway, he's our official news correspondent. Whenever there's breaking news, we turn to Air World News. But I don't know if Jimmy got, like, jealous of our, of our new... I think so. Um... Our new acquaintance here, but Jimmy started heckling him on Twitter, <laughs> totally out of line. Look at this. And, you know, this is a joke we've talked to him about. Uh, everybody give Arab World News some love. 
He's the most wholesome person in the world. This is, I guess, uh, our subreddit has a Twitter. I didn't know that. I think it's just a fan it's that a does fan it. It's a fan that, yeah, retweets stuff from our sub. Yeah. Anyway, sweet post, wholesome, everyone's happy. Jimmy Lee, he says on this, where's his camel at? Boo. Where's his at camel? Boo. And now, Jimmy, we've talked about this joke. Yes. This and is like your go-to, and we keep, the, the, we, you know, but what did he do? Now, now, you know, Arab World News is not one to sit down and take it, and this is where the Civil War really begins. <laughs> not, not, I mean, to Jimmy's credit, I feel like he's being informed of all these these things we talk about on our show through the people that are in his his team, if you will. So, I, I, trying to throw Mason under the bus right now? A little bit. Mm. Just to defend him, Jimmy, just a little bit. Mm. How much do you know about Mason? Not a lot. I just know that he runs. Do we know that he exists? Because he, also, he also has a manager. Yeah, Steve Rossi. Steve Rossi, who does not exist. Who is Jimmy. It's just Jimmy. Yeah. He pretends Steve. to be somebody else. So maybe that's Mason, too? S Steve Rossi. By the way, yeah, United Steve Talent Rossi Agency. Yeah. Steve Rossi really still emails me. <laughs> Are you get, fucking serious? I get emails from Steve Rossi every day. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? No, I'm 100% I'm serious. Oh, I'll God. tell you when was my last one. Here, I'll look at my emails. <laughs> God. Steve, Steve Rossi. Rossi. Let's see. Jimmy knows last we one know. was August 14 from Steve Rossi. So yesterday. Oh, that's yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> is it, what, it, what, it? Can I ask what is it? Is it like a PR thing, or it is just it? It says the title is "We Love H three H 3 and it's a picture. It's a meme of him with Jimmy Kimmel saying Jimmy Lee appears in Jimmy Kimmel for the show of a lifetime. I don't know. It's just a stupid it's meme. Just, I know he'll send out the Steve <laughs> Rossi emails for like his PR shit, like trying to get on other things, which he's done in the past. <laughs> um. <laughs> the last one was this. This was. Um, July 31st, so two weeks before that, Jimmy Ware Collections. He sent me a picture of his merch drop. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, Steve Rossi just emailed me yesterday. Shout the fuck out. <laughs> Shout out, Steve Rossi. Can I ask you guys, is Air World News commenting, like, on the cruise, like, personal social medias at all? Eh, not that I, I haven't noticed. Did you know? I thought I noticed. Are you asking if he's a clout goblin? No, he's been commenting a lot on mine and Lena's stuff. I didn't even notice. Lena's the one that pointed it out to me. Oh. I wonder if the Civil War, he's making his alliances. Well, he sees the fellow Arabs. Yeah. He's like, I need to get in good with, so, with these folks. We could ride in our camels. I don't together. really look at my response. I don't know if you guys saw. Mm -hmm. I've only seen his drops on YouTube, on his like, YouTube community posts. <laughs> well, anyway, so Arab World News saw Jimmy's response because he's sharp, man. He doesn't miss a thing. He says, my H3 family, if you want me roast him hard, say yes. And you know everyone's like, absolutely. <laughs> your match, motherfucker. This is civil war. Jimmy and Arab World News are fighting. I mean, who could have predicted this timeline? <laughs> and, and I'll be honest, Jimmy's the aggressor, man. He's Russia right now. Right. And again, so just to clarify what I was mentioning earlier, this post of him making the camel comment to Arab World News, I saw like an hour before we went live. So yeah. it was fresh on my mind. And then Jimmy was like, oh, Dan hates me. I was like, yeah, I kind of do. Like, you're kind of an asshole. You just like, this Arab World News guy, he doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know who Jimmy Lee is. You're just a stranger on the internet making racist Arab jokes to him. Like, and he doesn't honest, have any of the he, context, man. And he seems a little sensitive too. Arab World News. He's, yeah. he's been thrust into stardom. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's like, this guy's wholesome. Like, he's wholesome, and he's so a little nice. sensitive. Yeah. yeah, so, like, leave him the fuck alone, man. But anyway, he's ready for war. Which I didn't ever see in this side of Arab World News, but I love it. <laughs> he says, you ready? First of all, in well, the top right, please clap. <laughs> which is when he, tra he, he thought we were beefing. Please right. clap. Please clap. He says, you ask me where my camel? Here's my camel. What a stud, dude. I love it. <laughs> then, Seriously. That's a great photo. Go, here we go. Hold on. The element. Here's my camel, so run away before it bite you. I am the king now. <laughs> Roast it. And here he is on a camel. Who could deny it? Owning it. Yes. You just got, took the L, Jimmy. <laughs> and the emojis, too, were such a good choice. The flame. <laughs> Flame and crown. Yes. Also, like sick f skills, bro. He got some nice. He got a nice border and backdrop, shadow. 
Yeah. Um, Jimmy Sweet, like he came for war. It's a good graphic. Better meme than Mason's Mason. Mason, it I rivals Mason. Better meme. Jimmy's gonna get him on the payroll next. Watch. You gotta love this man. Had a pic of him on the camel, ready to go. <laughs> no, he fucks, dude. He's very photogenic too. <laughs> Look at it. this. <laughs> what do you see? Oh my god. <laughs> what are you in just that? Holy shit. No, I haven't. Show me. This 14 minutes ago, is this a Jimmy ago. post? Yes. I'm so. I'm sorry I upset you. <laughs> With my histrionic personality disorder. <laughs> it's, it's all like even, cropped off. Yeah, it's not even in the size oh, of an shit. Instagram post. This is like a Pokemon battle going back and forth <laughs> with new attacks. Yo, that's so funny. It's so that funny. Is scary. <laughs> and see, again, like I've I've said to Jimmy in the past, his self-deprecating humor can be funny. You stick with that. Stop calling people gay and telling Arabs to not bomb him. Like, stop, stop with Asking the offensive Hispanic shit. Hispanic people where their papers are. Yeah, right. and just fucking, just roast yourself. It's well, funny. Th that's people what, like it when you do that. That's what, when we had him on and Ethan had that sit-down conversation for, like, I think an hour or something like yeah. that. Yeah. That was fucking amazing. That, it, absolutely. I think we're talking in circles, because we've had this conversation with him so many times. He cannot change. Yeah, he has his exactly. bionic personality disorder. Work with me. He's I, a, think, I think he's watching right now because he's like texting me. Mm -hmm. He's like, shirt sent, Zacher. My camel is parked at Zach's house. <laughs> Bro. Bro. <laughs> I think before we have <laughs> on again, if we do, we should have some conversations behind the scenes. We've had. We've, 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 tried. Had. we've tried. We've tried. We've tried. There's no, there's, it's the ego right now. I, I people was, asking if he was diagnosed. No, that's a self diagnosed Yeah, he was diagnosed, which is something I'm interested. I want to kind of get. He refuses to go to therapy, which that's what he really needs. Sometimes when I watch Real Housewives, it seems so insane to me, but they bring the cameras into a therapy session. And I was like, first of all, what therapist would yeah. allow that? They That's that, weird. They did that, that on Kylie Jenner's it, show, too. See, I, it always strikes me as the weirdest thing. It was so funny. It might be interesting to do that with it Jimmy. It seems like borderline illegal, but I want to tell Jimmy, let's get you in some therapy. Let's get you in a, an official diagnosis with cameras inside. That's fucking interesting. Work with me. Jimmy, what do you think? Text Work that. with me. I will say, though, um, he is funny when he goes after people that are, you know, kind of asking for it a little bit, like that kid we met at the meet yeah. greet. Yeah. And he asked him about the where the pimples come from and all that, and he just mumbled his insult. That was pretty good. So he has, he has to pick his targets way better, and like, you know, obviously off the right Guys, stuff. we, he, t whatever notes we have, it's lo it doesn't work. In one ear, out the other. And that's the problem. That's what we've learned here, and that's why people feel like we're stuck in this cyclical, yeah. bringing Jimmy on, making fun of Jimmy, being offended by Jimmy. It's because the man is incapable of changing, and we've tried our best uh, through love of the game, our love of Jimmy himself. He he just asked, can Dan be his therapist? No, dude. It I'm needs not accredited. To be you need to go to a real therapist. A real fucking licensed therapist who can give you a clinical diagnosis, Jimmy. I'm not asking you to, you know, get on medicine or anything like, anything, you uh, like that. I just want you to talk to a person. He says, yes, I can. Interesting. Also, if you could do Wally's teeth, that would be the ultimate redemption arc. For sure. He said he was willing. Yeah. You, yeah. I do want to still get Wally out to Jimmy Lee. I don't know. We need to look into the logistics of that. Because we'd have to rent like a handicap van and Mm -hmm. It's a long ass drive. We'd have to get you know plan his whole trip for him. Did Wally ever get his money? Yeah. How much money did we spend? What raised for Wally? Um. We raised like twenty thousand or even more, like thirty thousand dollars for Wally. Yeah, we never even checked back in on him. We got to talk to Wally. Yeah, we should do a call in with him. I'm checking right now to see how much. Uh, what was the final total? Who was in touch with him? Me. Well, I, I, I was in touch with his little his handler. So can you can you reach out, Dan? We got to get them back. We raised twelve thousand nine hundred and thirty one dollars oh, out of a five k goal. <laughs> so let's 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 try to get them back, and then maybe Jimmy, we can set up the. 
the road trip of a lifetime. Jimmy said, I will do Wally. I promise that. Okay. <sighs> That's how we get the people back on your side, Jimmy. Can you imagine filming that? I mean, there's like that's that's like once in a lifetime content. <laughs> Maybe he could do the one fucked up dentist bit while he's doing the dentistry. So anyway, uh, that's what's going on. It's literally nothing but no's saying no to that. Oh, fact. people don't want him to fix Wally's teeth? People want us to what? cut Jimmy off. Okay, do a poll, do a poll, do a poll. <laughs> Just say, J bye Jimmy forever. Bye Jimmy. I mean, let's do three. Bye Jimmy forever. Bye Jimmy forever. Jimmy once a year. Jimmy once a year. Love Jimmy. Love Jimmy. Is that a bad poll? It's pretty... He, it's a good poll. He sent he sent me another message, but I'm gonna wait till after the uh, the poll. Okay, here we go. Whatever you guys say, this I'll stick to it. Okay. Now I'm a one, Jimmy once a year kind of guy, not to influence. Hold it. You guys know I love Jimmy though, so no surprise. Audio. Guys, you better get your votes in now because it's neck and neck. It is neck and neck. So if Whoa. you are passionate about Jimmy. Oh. One way or the other, get your votes in. <laughs> the old time music. Take my wife, please. Well, we've pretty much got the results here, I can say, definitively at this point. Thank you, everybody, for participating. Uh, basically, 23% say we love Jimmy, which is assuming a regu reoccurring. Uh, next up, by Jimmy Forever, 27%. But Jimmy, you'll be happy and relieved to know Jimmy once a year is in a strong commanding lead at 50%. And that's that's what I feel, too. We just got to dial it back a little bit on the Jimmy Lee content. He said, tell Ethan I love you guys and do not mean harm. I try to we be know. funny, that's all. Tell Dan same. Tell Dan I'm okay. It's just a character I do. It's not... Okay, let's stop. Let's stop. <laughs> but it's a start, it's cyclical. It's the yeah, same we, shit. Yeah, we, yeah. we, we got we to gotta get out of this. We gotta get out of the Jimmy Lee meme hole. It's been a Jimmy Holy. Lee summer. <laughs> so okay, Jimmy, we'll check in. You gotta you gotta wait six months. You're on a six you're on a six month timeout, okay? Maybe you can write some new material in the time. And we'll be right back here. <laughs> six months. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna open with Where's my camel? A B where's Hey. My camel? I missed your All right, we're getting out. We're good. we gotta exit. <laughs> Stop! Yeah, but anyway, this was real interesting, right? Arab World News v. Jimmy Lee. No one expected that. That really did catch me off guard. I guess it shouldn't have, though, because, you know, Arab World News did, he clapped back at you and Hassan, too, Yeah, he came back on me hard, dude. And we ended up being a misinterpretation, and we, we squashed it, but, uh... Dude, but he yeah, came back he, on me hard. He's willing to beef. Because I was doing, I said the, the, uh, Jeb Bush, please clap meme. Right. And he came at me hard. He's like, yo, this guy has to ask people to clap for him. <laughs> right. And I was like, that's Please true. Clap. That's true. Without the context, I do look like an idiot. Please clap. Well, there you have it. Uh, up now, we got other stuff. Top of the show. For example, Ringo Starr. This man is giving it out for free, ladies and gentlemen. He, t he, t he posted a picture of his feet. Wow. He's got peace and love sandals, but those are gnarly, bro. I don't even know. Like, you know, they're fine, but he's just old. They look like old man toes. I was just, yeah. I think they look okay. bad for his age. It's just, it's just not what I want. It's just not what I expected. <laughs> Scrolling. Actually, this wasn't my favorite one. That was the, he did that one second. He did this one first. He was trying to promote... He had to let us know who he was, obviously. I don't get this photo. This is the one I saw. It's an interesting composition, isn't it? Uh, he's too close. The way his, back. Uh, his toes are scrunched so so consistently on both feet. Mm -hmm. We could have gone half a size up, don't you think? He's too small. Time to get some new sandals, Ringo. I know you got the cash. We've grown out of them. What happened here? You got a little cut. Interesting. 
interesting. <laughs> we can have Seaman uh, speak on this soon. Yo, send One it to Seaman. Wait, did he ever respond to the ninja? He responded. Um, <laughs> it was. I, I kept. I kept trying him, <laughs> and he responded. And let me just read you the email because it. it uh, pull up I, the. I, the I enjoyed pic. his response. Quite uh, a someone bit. pull up the ninja feed pic just for the context. I think Seaman is great because we could just keep sending him feed pics. And well, he, he didn't. He did not comment on anything. He just. I told him that we wanted to speak to him again, and that our audience. Uh, uh, misses him and did you ask you what do you think about this feed no because I was just trying to get a what That was the whole point you Bro. send a picture of ninja's feet and you say what do you think about this feed? I'm not emailing him out of the blue after not talking to a Why? year, which is because I wanted to get him on the show to talk about it That was the goal. Oh my god, Dan. Bruh. You're insubordinate. That is a way that's It's way better than just getting a response in any dude. You gotta be you gotta be on the nose with a guy like Seaman. He doesn't have time to bullshit. You say, you say, yo, yo, score these feet. And Ninja has a lot of feed picks. Where was the one that we liked that we sent him? Uh, Here, this one. This one, bro. I mean, look at this. This is like right. This is insane. Dan, you got to just send him this photo. Did you even send him the photo? No, I'll send it to you. Oh, my now. God. I think I disagree with your approach. I think that's the wrong approach. Dude, I guarantee you. I think you're we're going to scare him off. Yeah, but now we didn't even get a rating for his feet. I guess I get. I bet you he's going to come down with some comments on Ninja's feet. I'll send him the feet. I'm going to just send say, him the feet and be like, what do you think of these? Just say real quick. Can we get a rating <laughs> get on here his with feet? That. I, I understand both sides, but I feel like sending him the pick in the first emails, like just sending him a nude off the top. Yes, exactly. Like, he nah, gets, uh, he's eight. down with all that, dude. Yeah, but if we could bait He's him our there, boy. We we're, all, we're on good. He's, we understand each other. Wikifeet Tyler Blevin. Dude, I, I mean, I can't believe this photo. It's literally his shit. It's definitely right up his alley. He would have paid money for this photo. He gets it for free. Just say, hey, real quick, C-Man, can you rate these feet for us? All right. Uh, he did in his response, because I said we wanted to speak to him, and his response was... Uh, his response to "Are you available?" is "Yes, can be in two Saturdays from now." <laughs> I just thought that was a very interesting. Can be two Saturdays from now. Yeah, I, it wasn't on a Saturday. It wasn't like that's just his way of marking time. He's awesome. How many Saturdays it's from so now? So funny. That's what I'm saying. He's a busy man. You show the feet. Oh, you right. ask for a rating. You're right on that front, on. man. All right. I'll say. Still want to speak to you soon, but we're curious about these feet. Are they winners? No, no, no. Say, real quick, C-Man, what's the rating on these feet? No, you know what I mean? Straight to the point. All right, sent. People are calling me a foot pimp. <laughs> <laughs> In chat. Well, if pimps are supposed to make money, I do this for love of the game. <laughs> Just do it for love of the game. Yeah, I'm not making, I'm not cut, taking any cut off the top. Yeah, okay, so that's interesting. So hopefully we hear back from him. Yeah. But that's exciting. We it hasn't been two Saturdays yet, so Saturday. it's possible. We, this coming Saturday will be the second Saturday, so. Okay, great. Yeah, I'd love to. Wait, what? Are you serious? I was on our conspiracy? Oh, this is wild, dude. Mm -hmm. Wait, so, well, it has zero points, so that's yeah, but good. That's comforting. It's still a good uh, rabbit hole here. Okay, wait. It was cross post. Oh, to our server? Okay. No, I didn't see this. So the fine people at Conspiracy, or at least one of them, says, is Ethan Klein of H3 using a FBI confirmed pedophile symbol on social media? H3 gate. Hashtag spiral. Hashtag I'm definitely not Keemstar. <laughs> okay. Whoa! They put a lot of work into this. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Wow. How do I even review this? Okay, let's start. So these are all different images? Okay. Yes. So, is there any comment or just the... Look at the circle. Bro, I didn't make this shirt. You understand that? Wait. <laughs> We're about to connect the dots I, I here. Literally, you, I literally bought this shirt from fucking, uh, 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 uh what's it called? 
from some department store, okay? Mm -hmm. Jesus. This is interesting, I'm not gonna lie. So now I gotta go back? No, 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 just scroll down. Oh, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> this one cracked me the <laughs> wait, fuck Wait, up, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, The what? spiral on the inside of the Pringles can. Bro, I didn't make the fucking roll. I didn't make the... It's not about what you made it or not. It's the fact that you're putting all these spirals in all of your social media posts. For real. <sighs> okay. okay. This one is so good, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Why do you keep doing this? No, you're the... What's your problem? This is the lobby of the Bellagio. That's People take up. a gajillion photos here, and it's got all the beautiful, like, mm -hmm. glasswork. Stop it! Talk, yell at the Venetian, the Bellagio people. None. <laughs> the fuck? Oh my god, dude! If this had like more than zero points, I'd be really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be scary. But somebody really put this all together. There's someone scarily obsessed with me out there. Yeah, there's a few people. Someone. There's a few, but. Definitely more than someone. Ugh, this is freaky. Dude, it's a lamp behind me! <laughs> now that's just definitive proof. That's a fucking, no. it's a light, a street light. Wow. You did that on purpose. Uh-oh. Spirals in the chat. <sighs> Wait, spirals in the chat, yeah. people. Oh. You proved it. Stop, don't do spirals, they're gonna come for me. Holy shit, that's a street light, dude. Are you freaking kidding me right now? <laughs> Stop! Couldn't be more clear I, what you're saying. I don't here. even remember where this was. Sure you don't. Fuck. I was gonna put him in, uh, put, put... By the way, this is from 2017. Yeah, you've been, this you've been, been doing this time. for a long it was time. Way back. This art, dude. Stop. I love that art, by the way. Just side Me note. Too. It's awesome. I love him. Robert Xavier. Dope. Great, great artist. Hila's getting t pulled into this? Oh, no, is this a joke? There's no such thing as a coincidence. This has to be a joke, right? It's not a joke. This is scarily insane. It's a joke to us. Can you pull up the FBI symbols just so I can compare? I mean... Uh, I don't even know if that's a real thing. There's a spiral. I, I've heard of this before. <laughs> yeah. That there's like. I mean, I've heard of it too, but symbols is it... and stuff. Okay, it's it's these. Ladies parents. and gentlemen, we got them. <laughs> Are these now? Do people really use these? Is the question right? That's what I'm saying. Is like, I've only ever seen this referenced in like, schizo posts like this. But like, we got them. It. You got to be more particular with the swirl. I mean, that's a common pattern. You, oh, all swirls. You can't just willy-nilly <laughs> throw all swirls in there. I mean, I've been on social media for 10 years, okay? And you, of course you're going to be able to pull swirls. The, the puffer fish, right? The one that turns into a circle. <laughs> My doorknob in the apartment I'm renting? And there's... Bro... I ca This is like a nice promo for my Instagram, though. It's kind of fun. The background is just our tiny, shitty New York apartment. No, I meant the screenshot. It's not. It's just, it's just we were living in New York for a year. This was our tiny fucking dog shit apartment. Such a dump. Actually, it wasn't that bad. We lived in worse places, but it was very, very small. And actually, it had swirl. Dude, you understand how common this doorknob is? You all seen this doorknob? Maybe like your life? No, nope. I've never. I've seen never that seen that before. Seen a ever. doorknob, anything like that in my life? Nope. I've never even seen a doorknob. You guys are gonna get me killed. You'll better fucking chill. <laughs> <laughs> this is scary. What? Fuck? How can you even deny that one, dude? What the fuck, man? Where'd you get those blinds? It's thought. not even the blinds, it's the blind hanger. It's like even more obscure. Again, a place we're renting. By the way, dude, people don't believe me, but the coldest I've ever been is in Israel. There's no insulation, and all they use is tiny little space heaters. And so it doesn't really get cold there, because, you know, 50 at night. But 
it's 50 in the house. The same temperature outside is inside. Right. I'm s I've never been so cold in my house. Is there electricity 24 hours a day there? Yeah. Okay. Lebanon, there's not. Really? Yeah, especially now. Actually, Israel has a pretty robust... Uh, they have their own nuclear reactor that... that uh, it's pretty baller, I guess. Oh, nice. You trying to distract us from the spirals? No, no, I'll keep going. That's rough. What are they doing about that? Lebanon's in a bad shape right now, eh? They're bad. My brother-in-law was giving me a little bit of a low down the other day. I don't even want to say it because I legit think I will get whacked. If you go there? No, I mean, if I even say this, like, like the government there is just insane. That's, con that's, no. Why would, would, would you get whacked for saying that? Certain circles. I mean, people know that the Lebanese government is dysfunctional. Yeah, yeah, and there's just some crazy things, especially with electricity, like... I mean, isn't Hamas, like, the governing governing body there? It depends who you ask. It's... I don't know. I'm not the right one to talk on it. It's just... It's insane. Well, it's sad. Yeah. You know, uh, it's all sad what's going on there. Ju Why are you blaming for ju sure Justin's swearing? And by the way, this doesn't even look like the swirl. Uh-huh. Where? Look on the cheeks. The cheeks? Oh, here? Yeah, busted. <laughs> Did you see it? Bro, what even did you circle? <laughs> <What the? laughs> this is scary. This person is super obsessed. Like, they went through everything. For real. Whoa. This That's is, the same hook. That. You can't deny that one. It's the same hook exactly. that they already used. And you're advertising it times two. Lubing. Oh, my towel, my bath towel. Dude. Strange design for Beth, I'll just say. <laughs> Me eating out Jeff Dunham fucked all. This one, they're like, there's no swirl in here. I just want to see how fucking nuts <laughs> this guy is. Just a sick photo. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Who the hell knows in these increasingly strange days? <laughs> Same with this, I guess. They just think it's super weird. Oh, like it's supposed to be kids, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. No. They're supposed to be Jeff Dunham puppets. That one, We've explained that in great detail. Wow, that's really frightening. Is Ethan Klein of H3 using a FBI-confirmed pedophile symbol on social media? Let's see what the comments are. I'm sorry, but what the fuck? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Jeez Louise. Got me worried there. All the comments you've made on Reddit are about H3. Pack it up, Ryan. You've got trailer debts to pay. Is that right? Is this guy... S I'm scared. Look through his post history. Okay. Kind of curious. Is this... Sorry. Is this a goof? Wake up. <laughs> One self comment. Wake up. Too much wine. Sorry. Oh, shit. This is just oh sad. God. You think this podcast dude managed what the creator of Rick and Morty wears? He's just asking people to take selfies in front of carpets with the vaguest of swirls. Just random patterns seen in nothing. This is seriously deranged. Both of these aren't even close-ups to a spiral. It's just a curved line. Wait. All of their posts are about you. In well, that's comforting. Yeah. Is Ethan a creep? Uh, is H3 using cryptography in our videos? Yeah, we already got them there. Cryptography? What is that? No idea. Is it safe? Can I click their user? Uh, in, well, in the doc we have that one actually, if you want to click on that. This is a five-year-old account too. This is dedication. This is weird, y'all. I've never gone into the rabbit hole of H3 conspiracy theories like this. This is someone that was banned from the Discord and scorned. Oh, you know who this is? No, I just see their first post is about oh, being... Hey. By Dan. Dan, Dan brings down the hammer. So this was a member of our, an infiltrator, you might say. Yeah. Why would H3 have this meme on his fridge? Interesting. Oh, it's not up anymore. Mm, of course it's not. Wait, I never saw this one. Is H3 using cryptography in their videos? Pedo flag posted on Tumblr. <laughs> Damn, man. That crypto shit. 
He had to f he he had to turn it upside down first of all. Wouldn't that make you the anti-pedophile if it's upside down? Some might say, some may say that. Fuck, this shit is deranged. And I don't I don't like the Oh, that's it. Okay, so it's not that much. Damn. Yo, you're in trouble. Elfan. That cryptography that crypto shit. shit. <laughs> Please stop. Thank you. With peace and love. Stop it. Well, that was a whole fucking. That was a whole fuckery. You want some beef jerky? Yeah, where's your beef jerky? I was asking. For yeah. Beef jerky. Okay. Yeah. So AB, uh, he posted a picture. Maybe maybe we could pull it up, of him outside. In a homage to Keemstar's famous beef jerky and syrup yes. video. It tastes like beef jerky. It was. AB said, "I well, I do have a family butcher. I do. Yeah. And, and you brought up, you procured us some meats, right? Uh, I did. Yes. Uh, Ronnie's Meat Market. Ronnie, Ronnie. Berry's Meat Market. Um, my dad worked there when he was 12 years old. Shout out. Um, yeah, he knows my whole family. He was asking about everyone in my family. Ronnie. Yeah. I'm. Bring Ronnie. the meat, dude. I'm hungry. Ronnie. This is exciting. So we have curated childhood meats. Compliment of AB. After that segment, that's kind of a crazy thing to say. Add, add that curated to your pile. Some childhood meats. I'm making your heart out, conspiracy theorist. <laughs> yeah, and are these made of ba baby foreskin or cow or what? Both. Baby flesh? It's like a Neapolitan type thing. And here's the picture. And will we be eating this um, with syrup, AB? No syrup. No syrup, says AB. Do you have a syrup guy? Here's AB in front of Ronnie Berry's Halal Meats. Ronnie. Oh, I made a funny joke about this photo, AB. It looks like Detroit's a rough city. You're standing on like a fucking blood stain. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Extra syrup just in case the desire. Shout out Arises. to uh, Dan. Shout out Dan. People are still giving money for Sam's Jeep. My God. Um. Okay, this is. We didn't really. Yeah, we didn't really prep Ooh. this. I just got off the plane and came here. Um, oh, those look good. Let me see. These that. are the OG ones. This is what. Oh. Yeah, people like in Florida, across the U.S. have these sent to them. It. Yeah, here's a scissors. If you so want. he delivers these inter uh, interstate. Actually, honors. people just send them to family members. Yeah. Mmm. These are hot ones. Yum. You guys want to try this? Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. You pass that around. Yeah. I want to try this hot one. So you used to get down with these pretty often? Yeah, my family loves these. We go to town on these. Ethan, just out of curiosity, what, is it, what does it taste like? It tastes like beef jerky. It tastes like beef jerky. <laughs> Honestly, it's so good, I don't even think it needs the maple syrup. You know? Is there more? Yeah. Oh my god. You're spoiling me. This is better hospitality than Fussy ever got. Yeah. Oh, god damn, dude. So these are two different types of beef jerky. Yum! One of them is beef. This one's beef. And this one is lamb. And he oh. claims he's the only person in the U.S. to have lamb beef jerky. Oh! I don't know if that's true, but he's a good man. I'm just going to believe That can't it. be true, can it? Maybe. Mmm. Shout out Ronnie. It tastes like beef jerky. It tastes it's like beef jerky. jerky. Oh, it is beef jerky. So. But. Let me try that lamb. The lamb is pretty good. Let me get one of these hot. He had me try it on the spot. Oh my goodness. Now, what makes it halal? So, halal is, uh... So, like kosher meat, you say, like, a, like you bless the meat in a way. Mm -hmm. And also, it's the way in which you uh, kill the animal. It's supposed to be in a way in which they have the least suffering. Yeah. Sounds exactly the same as kosher. Yeah. Like, exactly. Why Why are we always trying to pretend like they're even different? It's the same shit. Sad. 
Everybody's saying you're chewing just like uh, Fousey. <laughs> no! I wish you guys could taste this childhood meats. It's good, right? It tastes like beef jerky. Mmm. Now we've taken this meme as far as it can possibly go. I don't think we could take this any further. This is really good. Bob, thank you, AB. Thank you. What a treat. Mmm. I'm going in for the lamb one now. The only lamb jerky in all the United States, according to Ronnie. Yep. He's a good guy. When my family first mm. came over from Lebanon. He gave my dad and his brother a job, even though they were like kids, like 12 years old. Oh. Child labor in a way, but <laughs> helped provide for the family. He didn't so. force them to work, right? No, he didn't force them to no. right. They're related distantly, so. How what old a guy. is Ronnie? Ronnie's getting old. He's, his two sons are running the butcher shop now. I mean, he's still there, but they're kind of taking lead now. Mm. Is it a real popular place in the community? Uh, yeah, it's from like the like the end of Dearborn, like borderline Detroit, mm -hmm. which is kind of out of the way for most people, but mm -hmm. they still travel to go see him. Even like when they move like 30 minutes away, they'll still go back to that butcher shop because they know it's clean and it's legit. Wow. Yeah. Ronnie. What's the name of it? Ronnie Berry's uh, Hello Meat Market. For anyone in that area, get yourself some meats. Holy shit. It tastes like beef jerky. It tastes just like beef jerky. <laughs> Wait, it is beef jerky. Oh, I keep forgetting. <laughs> that lamb jerky was amazing, dude. That's what I'm getting into. Oh my I'm god. I'm gonna try the hot one now. And then I'll call it a day so we can move on. Sorry, Dan. I wanted to bring you something, but I didn't know Oh, it. it's okay. You want me to describe it? I'm just kidding. You know what no. it tastes like, Dan? Huh? Have you ever had beef jerky? Yeah, of course. It tastes just like that. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't remember that. It tastes like beef jerky. Dan, have you ever had jackfruit jerky? I've had jackfruit many times. I don't know if I've had jerky. I uh, had a period of veganism in my life, and mm -hmm. jackfruit makes a great substitute for beef jerky. Hmm. If you, like, season it properly. Interesting. And dehydrate it. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. We gotta try that and bring the joke there. Mmm. Vegan wow. jerky. Tastes like vegan jerky. This joke really paid off though, man. Now <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting here enjoying all kinds of meat. Thank you so much, AB. I'm very kind of you. Of course. Thank you, AB. Suck down. Enjoy it. AB, thanks for the meat. Thank you for the meat. <laughs> AB, thank you for the meat. Um. Gifted. <laughs> Get them. There's a couple other funny things we can talk about here. The floor is ours, pretty much. The wildest mukbang. You guys want Doja Cat or the wildest mukbang? Let's do a poll. I don't want the. Okay. Do, do people can choose their own adventure? Choose your own adventure. Doja Cat. Uh, wildest muk. Bang channel. The Doja Cat one is just her getting angry on social media at people. Yeah, people being stupid and her calling it out. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. That lamb jerky was so moist, dude. I love it. I've never had anything like that. You know, I never liked lamb until I lived in Israel. Then I understood the lamb. When they cook it right, man. Oh my god. Slaps. Wildest mukbang channel seems to be the winner. Alright. That's the one I wanted anyway. So. Let me finish chewing. I won't do that to you guys. Let's just sit here quietly as it finishes. <laughs> We're actually the channel. It was, it was a zilly zonk. This is the mukbang channel. <laughs> I'm sad that I can't, uh, you guys get to eat and I don't. That's a crime against humanity, where I come from. All right. This channel is Stephanie Sue. She has 2.7 million subs. And, um, she's a mukbanger with a twist, isn't it? 
Yeah, and this seems to be a relatively recent development on the channel, I noticed, because it only started about a year ago, this new uh, angle. She so, seems to have turned true crime and mukbanging crossover. I mean, this is uh, groundbreaking. <laughs> His college bully won't leave him alone. Mukbang. There's, I... I I put together some of the wildest ones in the doc, but uh, yeah, I'll open that. The whole thing is so. Here's some of our favorites. Check it out. This one's called "42-Year-Old Dad Marries His Biological Daughter and Then Kills Her," raising Kane's tender mukbang. <laughs> I love that. Look at this. I mean, why not combine these two genres <laughs> for fans of both? It's awesome. She's so worried about it, too. She certainly hasn't lost her appetite, though. <laughs> uh, another one. How do I... Wait, is there more? I thought there was more. Yeah, uh, in the doc. Oh, just the link to the videos? Here's the... Let's see what goes on inside of a... True, I don't know why they're... A true crime mukbang. Love it. There are so many stepbrother corn videos out there. Is there a demand? Is the demand that strong? Why? I need to know. This is red flag number one. If you're dating someone and you go into their room, there's like a hole in the wall. They punched it, okay? I had one. He tried to do a handstand against the wall and his butt broke the wall. So if you guys want to see an OnlyFans from this guy, Coast Guard for the past like 30 years. Now he's working as a corrections officer at a prison. Like it seems like they have a stable life. So of course Alyssa was- Okay. Static. You know, yeah, I mean if any parents deserve art in life, otherwise you have no life like that was like okay All right, mm -hmm. some choice thumbnails can uh, include the man that spread Parasite eggs into buffet food Wagyu beef <laughs> mukbang girl. You cannot combine those two topics <laughs> that, that was the one that really fucking killed me this morning. Who's gonna oh, click that? that? <laughs> Who's going to want to hear about that while they eat? Also, she's talking about the, the Wagyu. They're, like, eating it raw because it's, like, that really, like, high-quality stuff that supposedly Ew. you don't have to cook. So she's, like, eating raw beef while talking about parasites in the food. Here it is. We terrorize these losers. Uh -huh. And they're like, oh, we're going to make this nasty-ass thing that can survive a nuclear bomb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Cockroaches apparently can survive a nuclear bomb. I don't know if it's no true. No way. It's true. Like, yeah. obviously, if it explodes yeah. on them, they can't. But I don't think radiation does anything to them. Jeez. They might even get stronger. You know, Strong? Can... Like mutation? Yeah. yeah. Oh, heck no. <laughs> yeah. So Jack says he takes out the leeches and lets them suck his blood. But they're not as passion-inducing as... Now, people complain about me being gross while they're eating. This is a lot more than that. <laughs> These days, his fetish has grown. Seems like there's a lot of fans of hers in our chat. His obsession. No hate. We're not even, yeah, we're not hating. We just, like. I'm just captivated. That, that title and thumb are just fucking wild. Stephanie Sue's on fire, man. I love what she's doing. No hate. I want to see her eat that raw burger. What is that? And they haven't even touched their food. Mukbangs, yeah, they usually, the eating pr usually stops like halfway through. Get into the food. Okay, so Ew. here's the thing. You're like, why is there two? Look um, at that. I tried to make three. I tried to make three Wagyu burgers. And <laughs> it was the hardest thing in the world. These two barely made it out. If I open the lid, if I open the top, you're going to be like, this is so not Michelin. You just want to <laughs> see? Look at that. Okay. Well, now I'm just watching a mukbang. She's not even talking about the story, but there you have it. Got to have them ribs. Okay, Obama. <laughs> And? A little racial. The cult leader that was mummified, ramen burger mukbang. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My yeah, name it's is... Yeah, the title and thumbnail really what's funny. 17-year-old killer. How a gamer online friend turned friends into a killer. Uh, fries. Uh, mook, French fry mukbang. Fry's Christmas it? tree. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I couldn't no. see. I just love that it was a, a Christmas themed episode. <laughs> okay, it's a little thin, I guess. But shout out soon. Hmm. I guess we're going to talk about both.
Doja Cat. We talked about her recently. What was it? She was. It was the uh, Stranger Kids thing she had right. with Noah Schnapp. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Just seeing that. A little pop. You got Noah Schnapp. Yeah, Doja shaved her head. I mean, she's beautiful, obviously, and I got no problem with that. I mean, obviously, how are you going to have a problem with what someone else does with their hair? Um, and I guess a lot, of been peop- a lot of people have been being rude about it. Not surprising on Twitter. I actually haven't seen me making fun of her. Oh, that ain't right. That's dirty. She shaved her eyebrows too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my goodness. She did it on uh, Instagram Live. And That's a hard look to yeah. pull off. I'll tell you from experience. She looks bomb. Oh right, I forgot they did that. Yeah, from I've experience. Seen. <laughs> that is not an easy look, but she does it. Um. Well. Anyway, she popped off on Twitter. It was pretty good. Doja Cat meet and greet. <laughs> Fuck. She was having fun at wait, first wait. with the memes. Yeah. But they just like kept going and kept going. Hold on. This was 170,000 likes? Yeah. Jesus. 13 million views? What the fuck? Yeah. It was like that. And then slowly her fans start, or like fans started saying that like they were worried for her about like, because she went on live without any makeup and she like shaved her head. So I think all of that. Together mm-hmm. is what caused her tweet that is linked. I don't think it's a unreasonable to think, wonder what, like, is she okay? No, no, right? no, no, for sure. But after, because in there is the link to a video of her saying, I'm totally fine, like, knock it off. And then people just ran with it. Doja Cat frustrated. is built like Kid Boo. That's pretty interesting, <laughs> right? This is just weak. <laughs> um, fans were saying she needs an intervention. Doja Cat got on live without makeup or a wig. And y'all are saying she needs an intervention. Oh, okay, yeah. Totally agree. Here she is talking about herself. it. Herself. And, and it's just that on top of, like, everybody being, like, you're on drugs and you're crazy and what has she done to herself and you need help you need like don't be afraid to like you need to seek help um that stuff is so it's it's really heavy it's a heavy thing and it's kind of funny because i like doja cap i feel bad for her I don't think she's still adjusted to becoming like a mega celeb because I think at a certain point if you want to survive this industry and not just disappear and retire you got to just not be on social media like she is you just can't do it you know that's what that's what Austin did post Malone he used to be on social media all the time posting memes and at a certain point, you just got to step away. You cannot use it like that because you, you literally cannot live and have a healthy mentality, healthy state of mind while reading that kind of shit about yourself. It's just impossible. It really is. But anyway, she dropped the hammer. She had a great tweet. Crack me up. Oh, is this the one I just watched? Everybody be. Yes, yeah, so she dropped a banger tweet. She said, I, want, I won a Grammy and traveled the fucking globe. I've had a number one and went platinum. I make hit after hit after hit, and you all want me to look fuckable so you can go home and jerk your cocks all day long while you live in your mom's basement. Go fuck yourselves. I actually thought. What she said about, oh, you just want me to look fuckable was, was an interesting observation. Yeah. You know? That's what it is. It's like people are, people love her music. She won a Grammy for it. She's touring and people are upset that she's not what they want her to look like anymore. Because she's still giving 
everyone the same shit that she was giving before. She's on Twitter, she is on TikTok, she's on live. Like this was the only thing that changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, was, I thought that was interesting. But my advice to Doja, because I know you are listening, <laughs> is you, you just gotta, you gotta make that compromise. You just gotta get off social media or you gotta post and leave. You know, you can't engage. You can't. It's sad because you want to engage with your fans. And there's a lot of people on there that love you and respect you and want to have a wholesome, healthy uh, relationship with you. But there's a lot of people that are just going to fuck with your head and make you miserable. So there you have it. Here she is. I like Doja. I think she's. I think she's interesting and I like how open she is. But clearly, I think that strategy might be backfiring a little bit. And there you have it. <sighs> Anything else, guys? I just want to eat this jerky. I'm sorry. Everyone's probably so mad at me. They're not thrilled blame about it. Blame AB. Yeah, always blame Actually, me. Blame I, I have something, maybe. I'm going to send you it. Mm hmm. What you maybe. got? What you cooking up? Blame me. Also, hey, get those swirls out of chat. I don't want to see any swirls in no chat. Swirls. Also, uh, small update. I messaged um, Tony, um, Wally's uh, handler, so to speak. And uh, he said that uh, Wally is getting the money. Um, he said something interesting, which I hadn't even thought of, because, you know, Wally's on uh, government assistance. So I guess Wally's brother suggested they are... Um, they're doling out the money from the GoFundMe in payments so that he doesn't go over the income huh. threshold and lose his benefits. Interesting. And he also said uh, he could set up another uh, call and a follow up um, if we'd like. So yeah, absolutely. Because I do. So I guess we're we're ex the the Jimmy X Wally redemption arc. I you mean, know, I don't it's wanna, a shame because I think it would be magic. I don't want to say no. Don't help. Wally, <laughs> but are there under maybe just a dentist in Den but it's like super there? expensive, right? It's like a huge operation. Gotcha. Well, then I don't know. And the people said no more Jimmy, so they said once a year. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, Jimmy. Has he texted you by the way, Zach? Uh, the last communication was um, what he said, you know. Uh, tell Dan same, tell Dan I'm okay, I'm just a character, like I said, and then the mo last one was, don't knock me out of the box, Zacker. We're not, you just, you gotta, we, once a, once a year, buddy. Right. You're in the penalty box now. Yeah. <laughs> He's, <clears throat> six month hiatus. <clears throat> Alright, well, we learned a lot today. I am part of a underground pedophile ring based on the my There's a soundbite. Uh, yeah. Your voice is turning into Alex Jones, kind of. <laughs> I got some jerky stuck in my throat. But we had fun, didn't we, folks? We had a good time. We had a good time. How long have we been going for? Yep. Two and a half hours. Okay, it's a short one. But I'm out of that's stuff. a short one. I guess lately that's a short one. Yeah. Uh, but we exhausted our doc. We got nothing. Austin McBroom... Lost his lawsuit to Beverly Hills. We talked about that. Beverly, yeah, yeah. Wait, I don't know if we're applauding that oh, anymore or not. We're good with him now. We, Discord? We're good with Austin, but you guys remember that um, Beverly Hills City is suing Austin for mobbing Melrose and effectively shutting it down. They won two... Yeah, that's what I thought. They only owe them twenty-one thousand. It's not even that much money. I mean, it's a lot of money, obviously, but I think it's just to them. cover the time for all the cops they sent to like crowd control and stuff. I thought he'd. Get, I thought he would get way more punished than that. You're well, telling me I could shut down Rodeo Drive for a whole day for twenty thousand bucks? That's a good deal. Let's a year it. ago, the city of Beverly Hills said that they wanted two hundred thousand from them, mm -hmm. and then they got twenty-five. Wow. Good deal. Yeah. It's always better to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. <laughs> oh. What's this Philly D update? 
Uh, he made a his latest video. He talks about Cobra Tate for about ten minutes, and he mentions the uh, assault charges, the allegations of uh, holding a girl against her does will. Does he throw it to the audience, or does he uh, boldly <laughs> offer his own opinion? No, he seems pretty firm on Tate. Let's you know? pull it up. I mean, let's see what he's got to say. It's girl. It's your girl. It's your it took girl. him long enough. I mean, girl. Girl. Cobra's already like a dead meme. Sup, you be happened even faster than I thought it would. He's gone. I'm telling you. Andrew Tate is gone. But let's see what Philly do. Stop you beautiful bastards. I say, I'm sorry about this beef jerky. Beautiful bastards. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show. Make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to be splitting $10,000 across 10 lucky subscribe beautiful bastards this month. And let's just jump in. Whoa. Philly's getting desperate for those subs. Maybe we got to take a, a leaf out of his book. Listen to this. Sup, you beautiful bastards. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show. Make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to be splitting $10,000 across 10 lucky subscribe beautiful bastards this month. And let's just jump. Dude. Did. Are we subscribed? Shit, I'm jumping on. <laughs> Gifted. I want that 10K. Yeah, I'm not paying anybody to survive my channel. And I'm losing subs like they... Fucking Halloween candy with the hole at the bottom of your bag. <laughs> well, you know, maybe we could take notes from Philly. I, dude, I don't think this shit ever works. Paying people to subscribe. People just come, sub, and then bail. Like, it's not a meaningful change to your audience. Which is what matters, ultimately, not subs. You know what I mean? GP's out. You got ideas, A.B., for how we can stop the, the leaking? I, I don't know how I feel about the Philly slander. That's it. I'm not slaying. He's a genius. He's a skinny legend. Yeah, I say we got to say like and subscribe early on. And if you don't want to do it because it's cringe, let me and love do it. Bro, it doesn't I'll do God anything. Like. We already tested it. We did it for like a week. It didn't do anything. I'm sorry, guy. I'm trying not to. Anyway, let's see what Philly has to say. Been doing. You know, the first thing that we're going to talk about today is all this news surrounding a man who, whether you love him or hate him, it feels like thanks to the algorithm on all these platforms, we have been forced to learn about over the past few months, and that is Andrew Tate. I'm getting DMs from what appear to be early teen boys saying, I hope Andrew Tate destroys you. So that was Australian television and radio personality uh -huh. Abby Chatfield, who we're going to get back to later. And she's talking about former kickboxer turned massive online personality Andrew Tate. And Tate, as it turns out, has actually been around for quite a while now. But over the past several weeks and months, he's just blown up in a crazy way. We're just looking at Google search trends over the summer. Searches skyrocketed for him, outpacing those of people with massive followings like Joe Rogan and A-list stars like Taylor Swift. And so with that kind of following, you're like, can you run that? I'm curious what it looks like now. Because I feel like, again, his popularity has got to be dropping off big time. I don't know. After visiting home, it's a different world out really? there. Yeah. Like, okay, well, what is he known for? What genius is he putting out there into the world? For me, I think my first introduction to Tate was this Dave Portnoy clip where he's just like... If a woman is going out with a man, she belongs to that man. That's his woman. So she wants to do OnlyFans. She owes him some money because she's his. So yes, that's you, what you I said. Think well, that's the, crazy. You think if a <laughs> that man... That crazy. So it's reverse. A uh, male porn star owes the woman. I don't know, because I, I really think the women belong to the man. I think the woman... Yeah. Just watch. We got to keep checking in on this. This thing's going to bottom out soon. Shout out to Kosovo, number one. <laughs> What's going on over there? It's North Macedonia? Macedonia? Macedonia. Okay, you didn't have to say it so patronizing. <laughs> Albania? Okay, okay cool. Woman's yeah, that's open. inherently where you get called sexist. I didn't think that he was being real. Like, I was like, this has to be a character because this is... You know what? I'm going to be honest. Up. He's a little late to the game on this one. Like, is there anything in here? Does anyone watch this? No. Yeah, it just came out. I, I went through it on double speed. But towards the end, he talks more about the allegations. It ends around the 10-minute mark. All right. Well... You were fishing. I try to throw you a fish. Thank you. Will well, Miller of the Tiny Meat Gang podcast initially saying he should just be ignored. It's like, who cares? Yeah. I know that's a really hot take, but people get really worked up. Like, oh, this guy doesn't like girls. Like, so what? It's like, leave him in Romania, like, talking to himself. Yeah, I disagree with that take. 
But I understand. It's not a big deal. You know, it doesn't mean I hate him because I disagree with that take, but Andrew Tate is, like, actively fucking a whole generation of men right now. Well, I know, but the problem is he's not in Romania talking to himself. He's talking to okay millions and millions of yep. the masses community of boys. And young. All right, whatever. Phil, you're late. Where were you when we needed you? That's right. enough for a highlight anyways, I think. <laughs> we got a clickbait like, <laughs> Philly yeah. D is a hey. slob loser oh. beta. Oh, it blew it. <laughs> Skinny legend king. Welcome back to Promotion. Yeah. What is this? Someone else just sent me a video. Jake Paul gets in a street fight? Yeah. With Nelk Boy? Yep. <laughs> Let's who's is this? Oh, okay, this is interesting. Who's Steiny? Bless you. He's in Nelk. I want to see which kid this Steiny. is. This is the homie who was. Oh, it's that. Yeah, this is our. <laughs> oh, it's the the Elden Lord. Yeah. yeah. The shooter. This is the legendary Steiny who. <laughs> who was asking the hardest hitting questions I've ever seen. I'm gonna send it. What console you played on? Wait, this guy <laughs> got in a fight with Jake. He's gonna get destroyed, isn't he? Yeah, he's Jake is like in the clip on top of him. He's way Wait, bigger. Is this? Is anyone screening this? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't show. This is probably way oh too violent God. to show on the show. He did anyone watch it? I mean, he's just so no. He's just <laughs> ragdolling him. It looks like. Yeah, if you're gonna send a fight video, you gotta you gotta watch that first. You know why they were fighting? He was asking. Uh, he was telling him to say he's sorry. He was asking Jake if he's if he's ever heard of Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> cool. In this clip that is now making a tour of the internet, Jake Paul's allegedly seen fighting Steiny from Nelk. The lights and the camera angle make it hard to spot either of them, according to fans. The one entity entity on top is Jake, and the other on the ground is Steiny. <laughs> Poor Stein. Wait, he's referred Not to yet. as an entity? Yeah, they say the one <laughs> entity on top is Jake. <laughs> Someone's been playing Elden Ring. There's not much to it. Seems like Jake's just holding him down. Yeah, he's just, there are no punches. It's awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, people have been uh, bringing up, I can't believe we haven't talked about this yet. Um, what do you think about your two besties going behind your back? Oh, Jeff and Hassan? Yeah. It's sacrilege. It's yeah. Obscene. It's completely ridiculous. Yeah, Hassan goes goes in secret on his po other podcast, <laughs> and he has Jeff on. I'm like, bro, you got to... I go, y did you not ask my permission first, like Kim Star with the cotton candy? <laughs> I love Is that. there someone you forgot to ask? Actually, apparently they're buddies. I didn't know that. They're like old buddies. Wait, really? That's what Hassan said when I was like, yo, what the fuck? Cap. You think that's a lie? What is this? He didn't he didn't mention that when you guys were talking about Jeff on the podcast the other day. Don't you think that would have been oh, just old. think it's a little weird oh my God. that he's all hurt about Jeff being BFF material and then two days later Yeah they are. It's... Oh no, we go way back. Dude, he won the poll, and yeah, right. Go I mean, way back. And well, honestly, and, and we Hassan's defense, back. he talked about going on that flight once with some of the vlog squad back in the day. Right, he said he didn't know anybody. Listen, Jeff should have known better at the end of the day. He's <laughs> voted my number one bestie recurring times by this audience, and he's going to go on a podcast with Hassan. That's what I'm saying. Jeff. It's fucked up. You come into my home. We break bread, we break jerky. <laughs> We talk about family and life. You say I inspired you. <laughs> You've been voted my best friend twice by this beautiful audience that we love. And now, my friend. You broke my heart. You go to Hassan's podcast. I'll tell you what, Jeff. If you see me on a tractor, you better not get on. Oh. Because we got a problem. Echo. Me and you. After all I've done for you. He didn't need tractor. It's, a, it's an excavator. 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 
I'll tell you what, Jeff, I'll make you blind in both eyes if you cross me again. I knew it was you, Fredo. You break of my heart. <laughs> Dude, Hassan doesn't even have a friendship bracelet. Seriously. I guess maybe we should get him one. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's where it's all stemming from. Oh, true. You Dude, have these right. matching you have these matching bracelets with all your besties, but Dude. what about what about this bet? In Ethan's defense, they have matching cars. Bestie true best cars. Oh, that's that is that's bestie, commitment. That's bestie behavior. Cause we know never mind. Hassan, <laughs> I thought we were better friends than this. People are spamming not funny. Fuck your mom. And that's why I don't that? read the chat. <laughs> um, people really want me to talk about deaf noodles. I just don't really know what, how to touch that topic, so I'm just avoiding it. That's just the honest answer there. You know, he seems to be... I don't know how to say it. It just seems like some people got the best of him. You know, I wish he wouldn't get baited so frequently into doing stuff that uh, people can, you know, use against him. I don't know. The thing is, I like I like Dennis. He was a homie, you know, we talked. We did the steamies together. Obviously, there's stuff that he said and done on social media that's like way too far, even for me. But I, but he's my friend, so I'm not gonna like. Yo, is my hairline receding? Look at that. No, it's not. Why is it so high? You were quick with that note. Maybe because maybe this whole uh, this whole arc of you being a good guy now. Maybe it's I'm losing your hair my hair. Recede. Yo, does that look like a receding hairline or not? Nah? A little bit. It's the lighting. It's the lighting. Yeah, love says you're the man, bro. You get a promotion. You're the Thank new. You. You're the new. Producer. I don't need it. Let me see this side. What? That side looks okay, right? It's yeah. fine. You gotta start yeah. talking some more shit quick. You're just flexing is what you're doing right now. <laughs> I don't know. I saw this and it's I stopped dead in my tracks. I was like, yo. That looks a little receded. Have I lost one hair? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, all of us are just receding centimeters every year. Wait, are you receding, love? I didn't wear and wear. I have a little bit of um like uh, widow's peak. But not too crazy. Not too crazy. I wish the best for you, but <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> not too crazy. Well, and it, it, crazy. it closes that we should make Hassan a friendship bracelet, and then done. Maybe we, we could the be beat? three-way besties. So Jeff, Hassan, Ethan. Do you know what colors yours and Hassan's friendship is? I would say pink and white. Pink and white. Got it. I say you just get one that says Jeff loves Ethan. See what he. <laughs> Yeah, I'll put a tracking device in that bracelet, though, obviously. <laughs> I'll know if he ever goes there again. Yeah, but about the je the deaf noodles thing. I don't know. I just wish he wouldn't get baited. That's all I have to say, really. I don't know if he's going through stuff. I don't know. What? But sometimes the internet gets the best of you. I've been there before. And I know how it feels. It's horrible. It feels horrible. So I definitely don't want to dog pile up on him. Uh, but I just hope that, you know, it's like, you know what I mean? He, get, he lets the internet get the best of him. What was that? I wasn't looking. <laughs> I'd rock Nothing. it. I'd rock it. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, you'd be fine. Nothing. Um, what could be worse than what I've already got? <laughs> Thank wow. you, Ian. Thank you. I'm growing my hair back, people. Yeah, Def said, well, people keep... Oh, yeah, somebody told Def Noodles, he commented that. You're embarrassing H3. I was like, that's stupid. I don't care about that. He's not embarrassing me. I mean, he's his own man. It's just crazy. He said, uh, it's not... We're not each other's responsibility. That's true, obviously. But, yeah, I don't know. I just hope that he just stops getting baited and just, you know, makes content. 
he says it doesn't bother him, but maybe it's true. I mean, I don't know the intimate, intimate thoughts he has, but when I got into that shit, it I was miserable. Like when I was getting baited by the internet and th- just being angry and trying to like one up the trolls, trying to own the trolls, whatever. You just it's fucking miserable, bro. I've in my experience, it's the worst place to be. Do a little trolling. It's called we do a little trolling. Um, yeah, I don't know, but, uh, remember guys, he hasn't done anything to anyone really. It's just words on the internet. So don't, I mean, he said some pretty vile things to be honest about the, like, kill yourself, the end of a shotgun. I didn't like that. I don't know why he pushed it like that, but just remember guys, he didn't really do anything. Okay. Besides tell those horrible jokes. But I'm just saying, let's all take a let's take a measured breath here. He just if you think he's cringe or not funny or you don't like his content or you think he's going crazy, he didn't do anything, right? He's not a criminal. So that's the thing. But that we gotta remember when we talk about people on the internet. Someone says yes he has. What has he done? Except in your opinion be cringe. Um, he supported a predator, what does that mean? Oh, he called someone a. Uh, yeah. Wait, well, who who did he do that to? He. I believe it was uh, Papa Gut. Papa Gut, yeah. He, oh yeah, like, that was fucked up. Him. That was fucked up. That's like how it all. Started. But I think yeah, that was fucked up. That was that was silly. That's what I'm saying. I wish he just didn't, he didn't he doesn't have to get baited into all this crap. You know. Did he call him a pedo, or did he just say he looks? He like said, a pedo? I think yeah. he said he looks like a pedo, and then he got into. That's kind of what was spiraled out of control because he's like i was joking that he looked like a pedo which for the record is a huge difference you can say someone looks like a pedo is not the same as saying someone is a pedo obviously right and get no swirls in chat guys now's not the time for swirls okay i'm already on the edge with these conspiracy (laughs) theorists (laughs) no fucking swirls He sold a t-shirt with Papa Gut crying. Yeah, it's tasteless, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's just the internet, you guys. I, I'm saying it's fully in your right to not like him, to not watch him, to say he's cringe, whatever. But, um, just remember that, you know. But he said, did he ever say he was a pedo, or did he just say he looked like a pedo? Because that's a big difference. I don't honestly know. I'm I'm not up to date on the situation. It's... Yeah, it's gone pretty. It's it, gone. It's, yeah, it's it's hard. Like every interaction I've ever had with him was lovely. He was always really kind, and you know, he's always been supportive. Uh, then I've just been checked out. But I, I just people keep spamming uh, the chat, my chat, whenever I go live on Instagram, wherever it is, or in my comment section. Probably all of us comment on death. The subreddit it is it's yeah. totally saturated with it. Like at the end of the day, I mean, I can't speak for you, but he doesn't he doesn't work here. You know, like I don't. Yeah. Yeah. But, I don't know, I like him. He's gone too far, you know, as a friend, it's like, you gotta, you, you should literally it in. the FBI, people keep saying. I yeah. Mean, that's a joke. Yeah, it's stupid. I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a dumb joke. Saying you look like a pedo and tagging the FBI, that's not like... On Twitter, that's not that serious. Yeah, it's... Just saying. Well, obviously, yeah. Again, I don't know if there's other stuff, but I, everybody's saying he tagged the FBI. Who gives a shit? That's like you tag people as a joke on Twitter all the time. Some people are saying he said he looks like one. Right. That was what I had heard is that he looks like one. I mean, the tweet that got it all started it's, was you look like a pedo, I think. Here, let's see. Let's get to the. Okay, now we're in it. So let's just fucking look into oh, this. Oh, boy. Do we have to? We're, we're in it. Get out of here. Here is the tweet in question. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan has got this shit ready, bro. Yeah, that's. I'm just saying, Dennis, if you're watching, th- this is what happened to Jordan. Okay, he, he he gets too lost in the sauce, man. Delete the hateful tweet in question. Def Noodles accuses Papa Gut of being a pedo over an old joke he made years ago, and has since apologized for. It's getting pretty intense between them. Here's some of Papa's responses. So, so he did say that? I guess I need the source footage. This is a whole fucking quagmire, bro. 
opposite. That I don't, don't really want to get exactly. into. Exactly. We're not prepared to talk about it. None of us have really been paying attention to it. It's like... It's just you're, you're getting baited right now by the trolls. You're 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 doing a Dennis. Yeah. No, I'm not. And I, I'm, I'm I'm kidding, obviously. I'm just, I'm just. I said saying. what I wanted. I said what I wanted to say. Out of all this, the real tragedy is, we're talking about you're it. We didn't, you're put in, we didn't even put in the thumbnail. God. We didn't even put in the title. That's you think the, people would click for that? They've been downplaying us for it. We're downplaying this, guys. <laughs> Dude, someone. This is why I said I don't want to talk Bro, about it. There's already weirdos in the chat that are like flipping out. Yeah, this is why I avoided talking about it, because it's like, it's a lose-lose, right? No matter what I say. Um, I'll read the chat. Somebody's going to have something Band to say about it. Fuck off. You're a weirdo, bro. But to be honest. <laughs> Get banned, bitch. <laughs> Dan's banning people. Who'd you ban? Somebody who said I'm the fucking worst. Oh, you just got banned by Dan. Bye-bye. God. Wham. One day. Who did you ban before that was funny? Uh, the, Rich, Rich Lux. Lux. Oh yeah, Lux. he's in the Bro. fucking nether realm with Rich <laughs> Lux. I've essentially been banned from Twitter. Look guys, at the end of the day, don't quote me on that. I don't know, and it is what it is. I don't know, you know what I mean? What the fuck you want from me? And that's that. The last thing I said is I don't want to talk about it because... I don't know, what the fuck? Leave me alone, dude. <laughs> exactly, it's just like... I want you, if you want to be really mad about it on the internet, go ahead. It's not. It, he doesn't work here. He goes yeah, to a different, just, he he goes to a different here. school, man. He does, I, <laughs> I, I, I got nothing to do with the guy. I mean, we're friendly. We're friends. Oh my God! Like, can we talk about like the political? Yes. Of the world right now? <laughs> Thank can you. Can we talk about what's going on with the environment? Can we talk about yes. other things? Thank you. You look like you want to say something, maybe. No, I was just say a good summary of the chat. Not all of them, but some of them is uh, earlier someone named Morgan Smith said, A.B., how dare you let Jimmy make camel jokes? Like, girl, your name is Morgan Smith. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> Morgan <laughs> Smith, white ass. <laughs> yeah, please. Please. <laughs> ah! Most people are upset he's getting so angry and yelling at fans saying we're all fake. Watch his two newest videos. Yeah, I mean, that shit sucks. I wish he wasn't doing that. So. Is he really? Hang on, I just want to peek at his channel real fast. I'm not going to watch anything. I'm not going to get baited. I just want to see. He said watch his last two videos. I just want to look at the title and thumbnail. Here we are, I juggle. Let's see. Addressing the tweets that got me canceled, addressing the new allegations, I guess, yeah, it doesn't say much, does it? <sighs> you know, I wish him well. He's my friend. I hope he reels it in, gets his shit together, and stops causing problems. I'm getting into shit. That's it! Leave me the fuck alone! People find a way to spin anything I say, they'll be like, Yo, he's a pedo apologist. Well, what? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yep. Go like draw the, the most insane conclusion. Yeah. Yep. Those swirls were pretty convincing. No, yeah, no I swirls. Was convincing. Yep. No fucking swirls. But the truth is, what's really going on is there's a, there's a group of commentary channels that are just for them it's like a feeding frenzy. Nerdy fucking bullies. Yeah, they're just, it's a feeding frenzy and they're, they got a big old fucking meal out of this. Now at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's probably all they care about. To eat that poo poo! <laughs> you know. That's so the kind of thing, I, it's like all the people going, at, like, he's, he's acting cringe posting shit like that or whatever, but all the people that he's beefing with are like, some of the most annoying, horrible people on the internet too. So don't really want to like throw them a bone either. So that's what you just I, did. Just stay that's out the of headline it. of all their new videos now. Exactly. Dan. <laughs> Dan does not speak for me. Although I will call him Wan. <laughs> Get those swirls out of chat. They're gonna blame me for that. <laughs> Ethan's a pedo apologist spamming swirls in chat. Why does YouTube have a pedo swirl emoji? A, a puffer that. fish, right? It goes deeper than that. Isn't that just circle. like a default 
emoji? Those are for cinnamon well, swirls. The, so the conspiracy goes even deeper. It's like the emo the emoji corporation itself. Yo. Whoever whoever determines the emojis. Spiral emoji. Ethan, you have an in with YouTube, don't you? Did you include the swirls? I, uh oh. I gotta ask. I gotta Is that you? I wasn't me, man. I gotta dig deeper though. Oh, it's a cyclone. Cyclone emoji. Can you guys call me <laughs> Wheat Thins? It's like Ethan with a W. You know Wheat Thins? I know Wheat Thins. Wheat Thin. Wheat Thins. All right, this this show's ended on such a pointless. <laughs> I've been meandering. I don't know why you brought it up? Wheat Thin. All right, guys, call me Wheat Thin from now on. Wheat Thin? Yeah. W E Thin. W E Thin. Wheat Thin. I love Wheat Thins. That's pretty good. <laughs> They're so good. Uh, I have a little bit of a thing to say. I have beef with Swedish McDonald's. Oh my god. Uh -oh. They, yeah. They, I eat fika, right? And I stay up working at night, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I like to go and grab a little bit of a burger at night, right? Some f midnight fika snack. Mm -hmm. Turns mm -hmm. out, bro, the only restaurant in the city that is open 24-7 Stopped having open 24-7 McDonald's guys. Oh my fucking Please. god. Wow. Please Why would they do that? I darn, went there darn it, in the darn middle it. of the night yesterday and it's fucking close. And I have to go to the gas station and eat fucking glissy or something like that. Well you'll be happy to see this. Um while one opportunity closes, another one opens. The world's tiniest McDonald's just opened in yeah. Sweden. But it's only for bees. Uh, yeah, it's been open for a while, I think. Only for bees, love. Yeah, it's nice though. It's nice to look at. They got good but little I... combo deals for the bees. Yeah, love yeah, yeah. that. But please, guys, help me reopen this McDonald's. I don't know what to do. Really. Let me probe a little bit. When you go there in the middle of the night, is it? Is there other people there? A couple every now and then. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Come on now. Am, am, am I... The hardworking people of my city needs to eat. It's more of day. a it's more of a public service, you would say. Than uh, a, true. I had I had a f f there's a viewer that is uh, that works at McDonald's, uh, and she said that um, they closed all restaurants in Sweden during night or all the McDonald's restaurants because oh. they are opening. They're saving money for something called um, Mac Cafe, and the I think that sounds that? like a waste. I don't know what that is. Dog. Yo, this is insane. We gotta drive this all the way up to the Prime Minister. Yeah, I think so. The the oh, there's royalty. We gotta tell the royalty. Carl Gustav. Yeah, the king... The, as, as, I just need to get it to the king, and I the know... The king must fact, hear call, about this immediately. Carl Gustav will hook it up when, when he hears about this, because... And PewDiePie, mm -hmm. too. He's the other royalty of Sweden. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Does well, the king... Is, is the king mm -hmm. on Twitter? Uh, no, I don't think so. He kind of is like a little bit of a boomer, I think, yeah. Mm. I love him, though. He's a nice guy. <laughs> the king's a little bit of a boomer. What do he do I for like you him, lately? Though. Nice guy. <laughs> uh, he's just entertaining the Swedish people, you know. Uh, Swedish uh, royal family is not that, you know, controversial. The mm -hmm. co most controversial thing is that he probably, like, smoked a cigar or something like that. A gar? I think. He's oh, a big gar guy. He smoked a gar? Oh. He's a gar Shit. guy. Do you think yeah, the he's a guy? It's a vibe right now. Do you think the king has the authority to keep that McDonald's open? I think he could help in the matter. He could mandate yeah, it. Yeah, for let's, sure. let's take this to the king. I'm just saying. He'll go up like Gandalf and just <laughs> You shall not close. And that's yes, it. yes. Fly, you fools. We need But I've been planning to put write like a long letter and put it on the door. Like Martin Luther <laughs> King, right? Yeah. I will do that. <laughs> and I will prove that, that Look I Look at it. you. I want to see that, yeah. okay? This is that McDonald's that I'm talking about. That that yeah. happened That's kind of midnight. insane that you're able to keep, put that sideways without it exploding. Well, no wonder they yeah. fucking closed, love. You took all their patties, man. They ran out of yeah. food. Oh, and this, this, wouldn't that this be? Happened, happened to be right after I emailed them saying that I would come back for 40. <laughs> I was... And they just closed. Well, I think you have the three gift row. If you're planning to post your uh, manifesto on the doors, like Martin mm -hmm. Luther King, Martin yeah. Luther, Martin King, Luther. King, Martin Luther. Martin Luther. <laughs> I'd like to you to film that. I want to. I want I to will, see that for sure. Hollowed moment. Yes. That's a beautiful moment. Absolutely.
And that's bring <laughs> and, and that's uh, power to the people right there. That's just taking it to the man. The yeah, and I mean at the end of the day, this is like ninety percent of my streaming content too. So <laughs> right. I have a little bit of a uh, incentive to keep this restaurant open, you know. Yeah. Now, if you guys maybe sign some kind of uh, decree, some kind of alliance where you would guarantee to buy a hundred hamburgers every night, mm -hmm. would you be willing to do that? Well, I mean, honestly, yes, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Every couple, maybe fifty a night, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. So if we can get the management on the phone, potentially, we could broker some kind of agreement. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, I'll keep them open. You know. I'll, my 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 traffic alone will will probably be able to keep well, them I'm, open. Can we actually get a hold of the management? I wonder if we can actually work on this. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I started like a what's it called? One of those where you click the button. Uh, petition. Where you petition? Yes, yes. A petition. It's somewhere. I don't know. It has like fifty <laughs> signs. No, but yeah, seriously, uh, you guys send the address to the team behind the stage. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to get a hold of the management because I do okay, feel well, like there's a path here for yeah. um, redemption and understanding. <laughs> I'd love yeah. to see you get on the phone with the manager and try to work it out live. <laughs> yeah, we're, I mean, I would. When we're done with sweetening, can we get one of the places in L.A.? Because there's no places open past midnight. None of the fast food places. McDonald's? What? McDonald's? No. That's, not, That's true. not true. That ain't true. Yeah. But there's definitely Taco something. Bell. This is Taco all Bell. we got, bro. Yeah. This is all we have, bro. Well, that, no, that, I agree. That, that makes sense. But no, no, nothing where, where I live. Yeah. There's only one, and it's Sonics, and I hate it. Mm. What? Sonics. I swear McDonald's like 24. Yeah. Nothing for us either, now maybe, we're, yeah. where we are. Thank you, Sam. We're oh, always really? complaining about it. I am the night owl. Pretty I'm telling late. you guys. Yeah. 10 really? o'clock. You cannot well, find food after you got You got okay. Canner's got a, Deli. Like the you got fucking Canner's Deli. In your apartment. I'm not going to go get Canner's Deli. They, they deliver. deliver. Yeah, it's they Canner's. Deliver. They have 24-7. You can do it's expensive. It's far though. away too from where we are. Bro, we want a we want a big oh, yeah. guys. Let's focus on love. He's yeah, the victim right, here. Right, right. When's okay. the KFC opening in your town, love? I know that was a big uh, deal for you. Uh, yeah. Someone, some, some family member here said that it opens in uh, fall. Let's go. I hope. It's By the way, night. I don't want to forget to thank my good friend Mecca Donia for the fifty <laughs> gifted. Thank you for the gifted. <laughs> thank you. Mecca Donia. Fit. fit. Gifted. Gifted. Yeah, but I'm, I'm serious about this, love. There's got to be something Thank we you. can do. And I'm well, willing to fight for you. I appreciate your seriousness. Thank you very much. And Because right now, I am a little bit hungry, and I don't want to make food. I got I you, go bro. I want to get fika, you know? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, he's a gamer. He needs stuff on the fly. Yes. I'm hungry, yeah. and I do not want to make food. I got to say, it, too. Man. It's just not right. Love is an excellent chef, too. He's not just being lazy. Oh, thank you. It ta he, he puts time and effort into his meals, and I don't blame him <laughs> yeah. for not is wanting Is that right? Yeah. yeah. He yeah made I'm some actually a pretty good chef. I wouldn't expect when... that, and no hmm. offense. I just don't know why. That's what, fine. What, what kind of stuff did you cook for Cameron? Uh, well, we, I didn't. Well, I guess he, for whatever reason, we ate at separate times. Some usually, but I, he usually came by. Uh, I gave him some test uh, taste tests. Yeah, you I, let me have a nibble he, on like the beer, beer. What was it called? The sausage uh, stuff. Well, I made some carbonara. I made yeah. some carbonara. Korstroganov. I made some oh. meat. Cacio nice pepe. Yep, I made I made some good stuff and, well, yeah. But it takes effort for what you make. You you put time and love yeah. and care into it. And, you know, sometimes you just need some McDanks, too. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. I agree. <sighs> All right. This is our new project, so make sure to send that address. If we can't get a hold of it, we'll, we'll hire some attorneys, local attorneys, <laughs> to get their information. We're going to get to the bottom of this, and hopefully... Right. Do you think we could get a Carl Gustav meal, too, like the Travis Scott meal? Oh. The King uh, of Sweden meal? Very possible. Very possible, yeah. That'd be fire. Sweden McDonald's has like a rotating menu too, so they like wow have new burgers seasonal every, menu. Dang. Yeah, like every two or three months they have new burgers. They have they have fried chicken on the um on the bone there too. That blew my yeah. mind. What? Yeah, it blew my hot mind. Wings, when it was hot eating wings. It. Whoa. Hot wings. Yep. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get to the bomb. This love, I get, I promise you that. Thank you very much. Fucking fried chicken. Love always talks about a chicken tasty. That sounds amazing. Mm, chicken tasty is my yeah. favorite. Chicken tasty? Yeah. <laughs> chicken tasty. All right, listen, guys. I could talk about McDonald's all day long, but it is 420 Blaze. Almost 420. <laughs> so we got to get to it. <laughs>
I live on the <laughs> island, man. And wait, let me catch my groove. I let me catch my groove. <laughs> eight, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four. Here you go. I come from Jamaica. Oh no! <laughs> and I like to spark a blunt. It don't matter if it's rain or sun. I want to smoke that blunt every day. I like that blunt. Let me be blunt. All my family smoke blunt. No McDonald's, no fries. My son is two years old. Big old doink. He smoke a blunt in the morning. He smoked a blunt at night. Out here in Amish, smoking big doinks in Amish. We out here doing the dink doinks. We smoking every day. Dink doinks. Doinks, doinks, doinks. doinks. Ah. I get high and drive and forget where I was going. <laughs> I smoke a joint and get in my car. Fucking nice out. I black out and f end up at a spot. I can't remember driving anywhere. That's because I smoked two blunts before I smoked two blunts too far. <sighs> Chetana, sparking it up for the good ones. I. Pussy clot. Pussy clot. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, throw that up on Spotify. Eat your heart out. Alright, guys. It's all downhill for me. It's not getting any better. It's getting worse and worse. So with that being said, we wish you all a fabulous evening. Thank you for sharing your day here with us at the H3 Podcast. We will be back. Regular schedule. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know the drill. Mm. Um, see you then, guys.